What's up, everybody? It is, what is today, Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. I keep forgetting what day it is. Uh, this episode is brought to you, you, by our five wonderful endorsers, Division Street Auto at 595 Division Street. You can contact Division Street Auto at 401-723-7080. Mention that you heard this on the J Squared podcast. And why are you grabbing my head? Oh, <laughs> I was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and you get 10% off the labor. Uh, also, this is brought to you by Tops Electric Supply Showroom and Gallery. Anything that has to do with lighting, give them a call. Uh, talk to my man, Sean. They're at 120 Point Street in Providence. Uh, they do in-house consultations, outdoor lighting, indoor lighting, bathroom lighting, every kind of lighting. Oneyville Tire, if you need uh, any kind of new tire, old tire, uh, if you want to, if you want somebody to check your tires, our friend Dory over at, over at Oneyville Tire, she's very, very knowledgeable. She's fair, uh, very good friend. Um, she can help you out at 401-421-1800. Who else we got? JW and Son Construction. Yes. They specialize in commercial and residential. They're licensed. Uh, they'll do anything that involves construction. Is that what? <laughs> pools. <laughs> pools. They do <laughs> pools. I don't know if they do pools, but they'll do anything else. Uh, they do do kitchens and baths, all kinds of stuff. So if you need construction, any kind of work involving construction, uh, please contact John, 401-487-4134, or you can find him on Facebook. Last but not least... Donkey Dodgers poker. If you're looking for something to do uh, during the week, during the weekends, and you're looking for something social, maybe uh, even just to go out and eat, meet new friends, try hitting up uh, Donkey Dodgers poker. You can find them on Facebook. It's a it's a great night out. Uh, lots of laughs. Have some drinks. They feed you pretty much what it is. It's twenty dollars. It's a twenty dollar buffet ticket, and the poker tournament that you get entered into is free. So. With that being said, if you win the nightly event, that could enter you into a monthly event, which is a two thousand dollar guaranteed event. Um, oh shit! Also, it also enters you into a larger tournament. That if you win that tournament, you could possibly get a free ride into the World Series of Poker. So if you're a big poker player, actually, if you're a new poker player and you just want to learn, this is a great uh, avenue to try it out. Very social. All right, guys. Today we have the wonderful Katie Payne. With us. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Put the applause and, light on. <laughs> yeah, right. And Josh Pilardi, let's go. Time to talk some shit with the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. How old's your uh, son? He just turned 11. Dope. Mine's nine. Nine and five. Nine and five. Oh, so there are yeah. two. Yeah. Right. There are two. I, I said like two. one better than the other. I do. For sure. And when you have a se- if you ever have a second child, you'll like one better too. I like the one so much. I like Which them, one do you like better? I like them. Well, it depends what it's for. Like one is smarter, what but is? one is cuter, you know? Oh, man. They're, they're just two very different people, you know? Yeah. It's, I'm sure. You get that. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. It's like they actually are two different people. Yep. Both from it's my cum, though. Holla. Bro, that's so fucking weird. <laughs> They're both my people. I still made them both. You know, I hope. Anyway, one of them is... Hey, to some degree, I, yeah. I have a nine-year-old daughter, and I wish that she had a sister. To play I you going to say I wish she was a boy. Like, I really thought you were going to say uh, that. Uh, I feel bad for her sometimes. I do, I because do. I, I wish my son always... <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for her, too. I don't have anybody to play with. Like, yeah. Like, well, now we're past the point. That kid's not going to be big enough for you to play with. Maybe in college. What happened to the... Uh, oh. True. Oh, that's way better than whatever we were watching before. Cool. Motorcycle, George. I would prefer that bike than myself on that screen. Have you ever been on a bike? Yeah. Yeah. That's very dangerous. I would I see I always tell my <laughs> I would always tell my daughter Ned to never get on a bike. But, <clears throat> but what are you gonna do when she's at that age where she's like, Fuck you, Dad, I'm doing it anyway. All right, so yeah. I don't know. Did you listen to me told you not to do something? No, I didn't I didn't do shit. That's I, the toughest I, part, I think, of parenting. Yeah. That's you know, and now I know how like our parents felt. Mm. Like they, I can save you from the stress if you just listen. Yes. And I'm like, man, just listen. But he thinks I don't know. I mean, how many times have you told yourself like, "Fuck, my parents are right again." No, like, all the time. Y- yeah. Every day. Mm. Hey, Dad. <laughs> the thing that scares me the most about um, <laughs> my kids doing the shit that I did is, you know, I did. I used to jump off cliffs into water. Yeah. You know, like. 
That's scary, scary shit. Because look, I wouldn't well, I do that now. Get, like right immediately, like into like drugs and alcohol. I'm like, oh, no, no, later, flip, later. I'll be okay later. with that. I'm no, but okay. fucking like that, I wouldn't do that now. Because I'm like, whoa, like you can hit a rock and die. You you can just thing, die. About being young and youthful, you don't have. The, that's like, not a good thing. That's a stupid thing. I go on a yeah. reason park ride, my guts like all over. And... Yeah, What's the like, stupidest you know, thing that you've done as a kid that you would? You hope to God your your child doesn't do. I think the stupidest thing I've done was as an adult, not even as a kid. Uh, just a podcast? personnel selection with my <laughs> business ventures, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> just kidding, bro. <laughs> as a child? <laughs> he cut all. Oh yeah, oh. Did you have um, a lot of business ventures as a child. Well, I just said as an adult. Oh okay. You gotta so. come on, be on the game here. We're He's quick. So low. We're quick. <laughs> um, but no, as a child, the dumbest thing I've ever done. I don't know, dude. Probably jumped off cliffs. Like the most dangerous for sure. Wow, that's shitty. It's super dangerous. Like, what do you? What's dumber than? What have you done? Miss, I mean, I'm dumber than you. Jumps off those cliffs. What? Not everybody. Have you ever jumped off a cliff? Yeah. Have you? Of course. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Cliffs. We all yeah, do everybody it. Everybody jumped off. It was recreational. Yeah. No, you know it. what the thing is though? So like, I used to jump off bridges into water, and I'm thinking, you never know what's in the water. Like there could be a car, a car, a, a whatever, a piece well, of metal that's some sticking. valiant a shark. person somewhere that jumped off it prior to that, and then people just do it, and you just mm. go where you jump off the bridges. Other people jump. You ever jump off a bridge you've never seen anybody else jump off of? Uh, no, I can't. The where I the ones I jumped off I think in Milford right those quarries is that where yeah. it is the one I I I was the first one of the day like to do it wow. so but when I did it yeah but I've never seen anybody jump off but what's crazy is like you're you know the danger you know that people have done this and died you know you know there's shit in there and I remember <clears throat> excuse those me dead people are probably in there probably dude I well I remember vividly just saying fuck it like at this time you know i was 18 probably you know it was right when the the you know my class had graduated every a lot of people were there trying to impress the chicks doing my thing and um i run i just remember being like fuck it i run and i jump dude and as soon as i jumped it was like immediate regret i'm like this was probably a bad idea because yeah. under yeah. me you hey, know what i, I see any about this. bro <laughs> under me i i see a fucking giant turtle in the water and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna land on Come this on. turtle. Come on, I was gonna the turtles. Well, you're getting a little time. extreme now. Okay, I was <laughs> in a car, I would have believed that. If dude, you said it, a manatee, listen, I would have. You know. <laughs> it wasn't like you know the turtle had to be probably like fucking like this big, dude. Have you ever seen like turtles can get big? And all you I could get picture a lot was bigger than that. Well, this was a big turtle. All I could picture was my foot going through it or something and scratching up my leg. Like I don't know. What? But anyways, <laughs> well, I'm I missed. More concerned about the dead bodies that what? would be alive I, and grab me. Listen. Their hands. Well, the dead bodies, dead bodies that, that were alive. alive. Would, what? Yeah, drag me under. All right, I'm I'm taking it back to Earth for a second. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> sticking, sticking your foot through a turtle. <laughs> what do you think would happen if my foot landed on the turtle? The, the, the oh, Galapagos turtle, turtle that somebody had um, snuck over here. Wait, you don't think turtles are in milk like in the water? Turtles are out there. Turtles. You ever see a turtle? Why do you I'm guys make it seem like I'm speaking of some fucking weird thing? No, because you said you would, you jumped into the water and you're you're afraid that your foot's gonna go through the turtle. Like what? What would happen if my foot ha hit the turtle you at said that height? Claw you. No, no, no. I said I think it's it's you said like it scratch you. yeah, like it, it's broken yeah, shell if my foot talons. went through it. No, anyways. <laughs> but anyways, it was very anticlimactic. What happened was I missed the turtle. I wasn't even near the turtle like when it landed, when I landed. But what I do remember is like screaming, and then as soon as I hit the water, my fucking teeth going. I feel like the like turtle that. was more afraid. Bro, yeah, moment. imagine what the turtle yeah, was yeah, like. Down. The turtle's <laughs> motherfucking about to jump on me. <laughs> the turtle was like, no. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna scratch the shit out of him and he breaks my shit. <laughs> yeah, man. He was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fuck it. So, like, you know what I used to do as a kid? Fuck you guys. Construction, like when you know, building they're building fucking I condominiums. Out, so. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> George, <laughs> on the floor. George, pause. Can you pause the podcast and edit this part out? She's got to spit her gum thing. out. <laughs> Shut it down. All right, guys. Make up. Watch out. No, <laughs> sp yeah, just spit it. Nose. There's a garbage right behind that uh, counter. I didn't know if I was supposed You're to such a gentleman. Don't ever move. It'll ruin everything. Well, I mean, it's oh, you can't can't be worse than you that. saying I would like to spit this gum out. <laughs> That's not the. Go ahead. Hey, oh, what I was gonna say is that like, so when it was raining in these construction sites, there, there was like a big, huge pit of fucking like quicksand, and I, my dumbass, decides to walk out in the middle of it. So now I'm sinking up to my fucking chest in quicksand, and my friends are laughing. Oh at me. my god, dude, up to your chest? Yes. In quicksand? Wait, yeah. Well, it's not really quicksand. This is this is this was in Jersey when I when I when I was growing up. I didn't know there was quicksand in New Jersey. But I don't think no, there is. I don't know how else to describe <laughs> it. <laughs> it was a fucking wet cement mixer. No, it was just. Were you on the beach? <laughs> no, it's just like Jersey Shore. Is it? I could see like the sand does sometimes. No, it was just a uh, you know. Swallow you alive. This, they were building condominiums, and there was this big open area oh, full so of water like and. 
like sand. A sinkhole, like gravel. Or I guess so. Sinkhole. I don't know. I, I, I like lost my horse. I felt like it was on never ending story. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, no, I was like, <laughs> sure. sinking up to my yeah, chest. What a sad my, scene my that friends was. are laughing at it's me. It's the sadness. You can't bring that up. Don't vote for the sadness. What's that? The horse <laughs> sinking? I try, yeah. yeah, that was a tough one, man. And that's that a traumatic. kid's movie, and that's like a really Without deep one. Sadness. That was traumatic. Right? It, that was traumatic to yeah. watch that scene. That was a rough one. I watched it recently, too, because we were talking about it. I watched it probably three months ago, just that scene. Wow, yeah. you really like, like self-hurt. Hmm? No, 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 no. Sometimes. Um, where were we? You, Quicksand, New Jersey? Yeah, up to my chest. My I read a... Fucking laughing at me. <laughs> well, what are they going to do, bro? They can't go in. They'll sink. Like, you yeah, laugh at me. Get help. What did you do? Well, they probably thought you were like, help. No, actually... Yeah, like, what dumbass gets caught I... in Quicksand in New Jersey? <laughs> like, you don't deserve help. I, uh... What did I do? I ended up fucking like wiggling my way. Up. That's what they say to do. Like, yeah, or something. I, oh, like, oh, oh. Flat. Don't they say don't. Yeah, they, you're lying. What are you like? You're lying right now. They don't say that. Who is they? Those people are wrong. I don't know. Fucking I only remember that movie with Martin Short. You ever see that? There's a lot of movies with Martin. I feel like I remember like so cartoons yeah. teaching us about quicksand. Martin Short was in quicksand. I think maybe Steve Martin was in that. I don't know. Whatever it is, like quicksand I turned out to be. We, we thought it was very scary. It is, but I think it. This was an actual quicksand, but I mean, I'm just no saying. No shit, bro. We got that. You were in New yeah. Jersey. Do you think that we? Th I mean, we possibly. Thought story. I don't even believe any of the story is, is true. Actually, I don't think you have any friends in New Jersey. I don't. Um, I thought I always thought quicksand was going to be a, a bigger part of life the way it was, <laughs> was you know, landfill. advertised to us. There's a landfill in my house, dude. It's crazy. Not like near me. Yeah, in Johnson. Luckily, yeah. I'm far enough Johnson away. Landfill? We can't we can't smell it, but landfill? yeah. And uh, luckily, I'm far enough, it never smells, but like when my son's going to play football this year, um, I've heard that the practice field gets pretty stinky. I don't know why we just don't ship stink. all the garbage and shit up to space and fucking pollute the shit out of the cosmos. Yeah. That's just like, Solid that's terrible for intergalactic <laughs> diplomacy. <laughs> why you know, like intergalactic diplomacy? First, we got to find people. Hey, they're actually, you know, there actually is trash floating around in space. I like know a bunch is. of debris. There's like, debris oh, where the fuck did Earth? I read that? Can you Check that out real quick, dude. I remember, excuse me, reading some shit, seeing like fucking, it became an issue where like one space program was just like, all right, guys, maybe we should manage how much, like, is that how fucking sloppy we are as humans? Like we're ruining the oceans, so we're ruining the planet. Right that's space that's though, like space, this. we're fucking, we made a yeah, mess of space. Yeah, but you how big space is? It's like, I don't, do you? Can yeah. you tell me how big it is? Yeah, it's like bigger big? than big. Yeah. Really I'll tell you what, it's not bigger than... <laughs> Dude's nuts. No, I'm I would just definitely, definitely, I would advocate to push all our garbage and everything out to space. That's the trash scope around the planet. The trash it's scope? Really sad. Well, it, hold on. Is it really sad, though? Until we know what the repercussion of that could be, like, what? why does it matter? Until we know? I mean, there's literally, like, people down. What's the alternative, though? Like, yeah, I mean, but, well, well honestly, hold on. There's, Is there? there? There's bio, like, there's biodegradable items that can be, like, oh, this whole straw thing. Yeah, but there's like, still there trash. About the straw. Just it's the trash here that's not. But, I mean, what is it, getting a little mushy? I mean, well, first, a, a straw? Who the fuck? Do you, don't use a straw. I'm not a child. I don't need a straw. I'm not going to spill my drink. I actually bought steel straws. They have those, too. Like, they that's have so ones that you can put, like, on your You can wash them and... Yeah. Yeah. You know my girl does? She's amazing. Like, anytime she... We buy these things called Zevias. Have you ever heard of Zevia? It's like... We don't like to drink soda, so it's like a... It's like a sugar-free soda. Right. You know what I mean? It's carbonated water with some weird plant flavor. But they come still in, like, the standard six-packs, you know, with those plastic things. And she always cuts them up. Like, yeah. She always cuts them up before she throws them away. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I do that at work. I I'm like, that's super sweet of her. Like, because so I would never do that. I think of like the scope that I see just at my job and all the waste and the, and I think about that. She does times it for ten. I think about how many you know oh, restaurants yeah, huh? on the and I, it's just it blows my mind sometimes. It comes out. Be like, oh, this is what I'm throwing away or this is what I see every day. She does it Sorry, specifically to it. save like I guess the turtles get caught in it and yeah. it fucks a bunch of animals that get their heads caught in it and choke. I don't do it because. Who knows? It could be that turtle that fucking fact, I almost jumped on. Yeah. And I'm okay with him well, getting fucking turned, strangled. Yeah, yeah listen. That, that... Think about it this way. It's 10 years later. There was a whale later. that beached itself, and then they found like fucking 50 pounds of fucking plastic and shit in its stomach. Oof. Well, from our, our our oceans and stuff. Well, but you know what? There's going to be collateral damage of us that living are, here. Like, that mm. stuff is, could be from decades ago. And right. I just think it's just going to... I believe out in, the, out in the oceans, there's like a couple mile long or something like that. Some ridiculous number... Of just like an island of garbage. Gar garbage, garbage. They call it the garbage patch. Yeah, That's the garbage sad. patch. It is is that on the in the Pacific, like near California? Yeah. There, I, I'm pretty sure there's like a young kid, like an 18 or 19 year old kid. He's floating out who there. who no, developed a, like an incredible contraption, dude. He's got this program where it's cleaning that shit up. 
It's like a boat. Oh, yeah. Thing. You know what? I yeah, heard dude. something about that. And then, I've seen that. Yeah, that's that's why we need more kids like him, man. Well, I think that was around the time. Because isn't been like the coral My kid reef still dead? needs me to fucking open his go uh, so. The coral reef is like dead. Right? Some of the coral reef somewhere <laughs> is damaged. That was profound. No, it's dead. <laughs> I can tell you've really done your research <laughs> yeah. there. The coral, that's what I, I heard. I anyway. did so, extensive no, like, research. Like, I, heard, I heard, I remember <laughs> thinking, <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> and reading about something to yeah. that extent. with some sort of like so, a big... Kudos to that. Let dude. me ask you guys this, though. I mean, I think it's ironic that we right, put traps out to catch the, the, you <laughs> the know, trash, seafood, but not the garbage. Yeah, it's hard not to catch the garbage. But look, let's let's be realistic here. We we live on this planet. We're gonna leave a footprint. There's no if ands or buts about that. Correct. Yeah, we right, but we, I feel like we already it. have, and now it's you know they've been telling us that these are certain changes that need to be made, and they're kind of giving us even giving us ways to do mm. that. And I mean, even me, I'm guilty of it. I don't. So this this brings up a, a good subject about Netflix and their do, their latest doc, one of their latest documentaries. It's like Blue Planet or whatever. Seamless. Their their our planet. It's called or whatever. Yeah. Well, you want to get the, the titles well, right, just so when people planet Earth, it's a it's a variation. Of, it's I'm a sorry. Creators is Planet Earth, and then, the net, the title called. is called Our Planet, though. Right, but that's what I'm. That's what I was getting to. Had you no, I'm, finish. I'm just the only reason I said that was because I know that you've seen it. Yeah. And um, I've seen it. I just want to make sure people that are listening can actually go. If they want to watch right. it, they can go see yeah, it. Yeah, I was trying to make sure that they. But now you're confusing it. You say Planet Earth, Earth. people are going to Google Planet, Planet Earth. Earth no, but it says it says it's the same creator. Fuck it. I guess Earth. the title doesn't our, matter, guys. It is our planet. It's our planet. Just do our what we planet. do. Go to same go to Netflix. Planet Earth. Earth. <laughs> go to Netflix and watch Friends like we all do. <laughs> so you know, it, it seems to me watch that. <laughs> Right. Or the office. What you else you watch? The office for, uh, yeah, let's do that again. Netflix is pushing out like the sh- showing these pictures uh, of walruses because like the the ice is melting. The walruses are finding harder places to you know hang out, so they start climbing these fucking mountains apparently. And because their their eyesight it's really bad. They have no depth perception. Is right. What it is. So, and when they try to rejoin the group, I guess they just fall off the mountain or fall off the cliffside. Hey, it's episode two, like the last. I'm not going to um, watch that. I literally didn't watch. I, the well, here's the that. thing. And here's the thing: those creators, those same creators, said that they. they yeah, um, hold on. True. Don't pull it up, George, because uh, YouTube will probably flag us and pull us down. So don't pull that up. <clears throat> Go ahead. They said because they put out these series of Planet Earths, and they've been pretty much telling everybody for years. Everybody's in an uproar about the walruses, but. Um, they said that they're not going to hide like all that really grim stuff any they longer. Shouldn't. That that's ex- actually nobody's listening, and that's what it is, and it's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I still listen. I mean, I I, I bartend. I listen to people all day. Just this is not real. Bullshit. And yeah, they, you know, this they, isn't. They talk about climate change. You know? There are articles out there that are saying that it's not real. They try that to debunk it, but I mean, something like that is so evident. I mean, you can't look away from it. It's just, it's how can you deny? Well, that? here's the thing. So the guy that narrates. Oh, this the, is gonna be great. I can't wait. The, the the episodes of the show, some English guy, he's already been accused in the past of being part of other programs that doctor or edit footage to make it seem more uh, emotional, to get emotional response out of, out of the that, viewership. I don't think that, like, Thousand Pound Walrus is jumping off. Fo- what I was reading, like what the scientists think, is that a few of them make it to the water and they think, all right, they're just used to flopping off an iceberg. Did you watch it or no? No, I'm not watching. Gotcha. I already told him I'm not gonna. I can't. Oh, watch. you're not gonna. I can't. I can like, literally <clears throat> right. see how like grimace it is and like how it's, more, more. I don't wanna. It, it's pretty sounds, rough. So I guess I, don't, I, don't. I guess these walrus. What they do is there comes a time in the year where they need to just take a break from being in the water and swimming all the Correct, time. But so they, they used to just chill on the. Off an iceberg and yes. Water. So one goes and you know they. They're even, like the the photographers were saying, uh, the, or the cameramen rather were saying that they're some of them made it to the water and then they thought that the the walrus the ones that were still above could hear the water, and that's when they all mm. started going. But then, I mean, they could hear the, other, the other walruses, they're too. They're hitting the rocks. The rocks. Yeah. It's, and they're uh, dying. I, well, so, some zoologists are saying that that's not actually what's happening. That's just how Netflix has edited the footage to uh, make it seem like that. They're saying that these walruses were being chased by polar bears. That Meaning, walruses don't just climb mountains and then jump off. That's not instinctual. Well, I think that's still well, just... Put, hold on. But to be honest... Let me just interject real quick, because when you say it that way, it's it's almost like... 
you're you're framing it in a way that's not really they're not climbing mountains what they're doing is it's, they normally scale icebergs to get up a few feet out of the water they're just scaling like rocky well, hill, 200 on. foot cliffs they're not uh, I, I well from what i well, watched they didn't say 200 somehow. they didn't say 200 but foot cliffs still, it was like yeah no it was like ro- well i watched it they didn't say 200 foot chasing those walruses because they're hungry as well and nobody has any like, well i guess the point is whether i mean everything it's all we know that the walruses are dying, right? I guess the point is, is that is Netflix? This is the contrary. This is the point. This is the sticky point. Is Netflix doctoring their documentaries? Data? Not just this one. I'm saying all of their documentaries to yeah, to to sell them. the viewer a, a, an agenda. Yes. But there's documentaries well, that that documentary, they yes, but they like, Netflix. Um, I don't think Netflix of... is biased. They have documentaries. See, I'm starting to believe that they are, bro. There's a flat Earth by um documentary on Netflix, trying to you know okay. convince people, like you know what I mean. So they're not like super biased towards left science or right I mean, science. I don't like think. A they're anything. I, pretty much just an opinion. If you notice though, like well, the media and like the the tech world and the younger generation seems to lean more left. And I bet that's just where the viewership is. You know, like there's probably just more people that watch Netflix that are left leaning. So they make more money by producing documentaries or shows in general that, I don't think so. I you know, sure. I th- are geared to that I'm audience. Pretty left, and I'm also not an idiot. So I didn't say you were an idiot. Thing is not something that interests me. No, no, no. That the flat well, Earth one is the flat Earth one is I'm my saying, argument that's saying appeal to a certain exactly. What I'm saying though is they're not biased like that. Which is not very interesting. That shows uh, that show also exists on Netflix. So you can't say that yeah, Netflix is. gears all of its content no, towards one it's side not or the other. Net- these are people who are making right. these. It's not. Yeah, but Netflix. Ha- well, Netflix made that it's documentary. Our I'm planet is made by Netflix. Documentaries on all types of things. Some you have historical records of. Some are about a person or a, or a place. It's very, very hard. This is more a video, like a videography of things, and it's very, very hard to dispute the fact that this. I mean, how do you edit that? Something so you, horrific. You don't show well, the polar bear there. That's how you can edit well, that. Even right. Still, what I'm saying is, a polar bear chasing those walruses still correlates to global warming or, or climate change or whatever this documentary is. Because that those might polar be true. bears are now looking. But that's for not what. In a different source, they're all fending. They're all looking for. That might be totally true, but that, I guess see my issue is. Yeah, his question was a little my, different. His my, question my was: Is Netflix, is, you know, is biased? Netflix trying to sell sell the audience an agenda? That's what bothers me. And okay, take take Netflix out of this equation. Like I said, the the gentleman that narrates these shows, his name's Robert. Oh, I love that blah, blah, blah. voice, though. Yeah, uh, uh, right. He's on. A, he does a bunch of. I've heard that many times. Um, nature shows and, and narrates. He's been accused before of being part of programs that have been proven to edit the footage to make it seem like... Well, I mean, I just kind of like wonder fake, how that blames, falls on him. I mean, that man's just paid because he has a really well, good it, voice and it's, he's just it's reading kind what he's of, told to read and he's being, being paid you, you for a job. You have to admit, it's suspicious that somebody's involved multiple times in program, uh, you know, programs that have been proven to be edited just for... You know, na- to show nature drama. Like I would, I would say snow. he's just. I think he's just going to the highest bidder. Yeah, like you're like, gonna pay yeah, me this much, I'm in. Yeah. People yeah. know his voice and. Because if hey, if Hulu if Hulu put out a documentary disproving um, climate uh, change, right. you know he might just say fuck it. If you're gonna pay me this much, I'll yeah. do it. Like my voice is what I'm selling. Yeah, exactly. He's not yeah, really he's advocating like his problem, ideas. Yeah. He's just I saying what they tell him to say. Right, I, I could I, be, I, I could be wrong. That. I could be. I hope that's Can you case. pull it up? Is does he have any response to that? Like saying that that man is you know? like living lavish. She's like, huh, huh. yeah, like he may not give a shit, or he may very well be leaning towards one way. But I'm not totally against it. Like I don't I think, think that I don't think Netflix him. has a specific agenda to target, you know, left leaning people or right leaning people. I think they're just following the money, and I feel like they're probably like more people. That are left leaning probably use Netflix than just that are right leaning. Just, just as like it. because it's it's tech, you know, and tech companies seem to lean left, and it's you know it's newer. It's, uh, it's all the the money, user. Money, money, money. I think. Yeah. Well, what's, the guy, what's the guy's job? His job is a narrator. He's a narrator. He's his a, he's his a narrator. job is literally to narrate a documentary right. and work with the documentary people to throw to right. get as many viewers as possible. It's not to spread a certain. Can you just find a list of documentaries he's uh, narrated? He all the he's done, he's yeah. So are there any that are like you know there's, more right leaning? I don't even know why I'm saying right leaning. that they were biased, but it always all the articles just come back to the same. Well, thing you're always going to say it's biased when this is an issue that clearly it's like the left takes a hold of. You know, I mean, this since the beginning. Yeah, anything to do and with all the nature, way, even, yeah, it was all climate the Demo- change, democratic politicians that were like pushing for the kind of the changes back in the '90s and you know, the early 2000s, and I think that um, 
So that now it's just associated. This is like a, this is not a party thing. This is just an earth. This is everybody. It's a human race. It should be like that, but it kind of is a party thing. See, I go back to thinking. I think we all should care about the earth. I don't know how you can think that. That's just like. Well, uh, you know what? Like over the, over the last several years, I've never, I never used to watch Netflix. I didn't even fucking care. I don't watch a lot of TV. I like to read and whatever. But with that being said, I started watching Netflix and ever since I started watching Making a Murderer. So Making a Murderer. Caught my attention, and you were like, so sold that he was. Oh, was, I was getting like, out. This is fucking crazy. This is absolutely. Crazy. Jay's texting me for a couple weeks. Drake's he's like, "Yeah, man, new info's coming out. Watch, he's getting out." I'm yeah, like, "Bro, I was like so into it." Now I was like, and then you know, upon further research and blah blah, you find out that Netflix left out a lot of evidence and a lot of information. But it's not Netflix. Netflix. Well, hold on. Purchases. Just, I mean, I guess that no, was produced. Well, that's by not that, true. That, yeah, that most was. of them are. So now the police officers have a lawsuit against Netflix. Really? Yes. Interesting. Saying, you know, you you guys left out this whole huge part of the case. But wouldn't that and be it, like... And they're suing uh, for defamation and because it seems... Now that I see that the whole kind picture, of be like under like freedom of speech, I mean, you have freedom. I mean, that's you, yeah. They're probably they're probably not going to win that case. Thing, like, sure, you know, it, it, it'd be the same. They might be able really, to, you know, even though get it's away a documentary, with that. I don't know if it's different rules for documentaries, but in any form of entertainment, it's just kind of. But I think the further question is: is why would Netflix doctor the story? The story itself sells. No, it doesn't. Not, I not think so. Much. Not if you, hey, put it this way. If the well, document, yeah, hold okay. on. But it's I, not, I agree with that. This is just media and just been going on for years. Like, yeah, the, the story well, doesn't sell paper, itself because you know, the like, story the itself is this guy's a murderer and he killed a few people. There's a thousand of them. But yeah, the actual... No, he was locked up for 18 years prior by the same police department that... There's thousands of those stories. stories. about men who have been locked up and exonerated. That yeah, what's his name? Khalil, Khalil, Khalil Browner? Is that his name? Well, she, Khalil Browner? Uh, Kathleen Zellner, whatever. She, that's her whole career is like right. 10 or 12 yes. generations like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, the, the question is, right? So they do the documentary and they have both sides to the story equally, right? Is that as entertaining? Do you that think that? I didn't t- take the documentary that way. I thought it was leading towards... No, 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 no. He's not saying that. No, Listen no, to what he's saying. I'm saying in general, in a documentary, if you have a 50 50 view on something, is right, it going to give as sell. much views as saying, oh, let's skew it to saying, no matter what, he's innocent. Let's give little tidbits of why. So you're saying maybe innocent. somebody's coming and watching it like, I don't know, and then you're going to watch it, and then it's going to lead you to. Yeah, kind yeah, of yeah fall it's always, to one always, side. It's, it's always going to skew to one side, but it's a most. I think most well, I think of then people just have to think independently and not. You know. Well, it's, it's oh, yeah. tough. <laughs> I mean, it's, could just you can, but it, it's more. easier to do if you're presented with just facts, but that is, you know, skewed and um, delivered to you in a way to, oh, it's hold deliberately on. made yeah, to, it's, in a, to so make you side with an emotional response. Well, t- what's his name? Steve Avery. Avery. It's that documentary is geared to get people on his side. You know, that is a very yeah, pro Avery doc. Yeah, of course, it. dude. So not like, but then I'm intelligent enough to watch it knowing that. And I still, at the end of it, think, well, I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't most, there, and I don't know. Most all. people don't. Yeah, don't most people just kind of take what they're given. Happened. Most people don't go and you know, like, do their own I research think it's afterwards. Awful that people don't focus more on. I mean, people die. You know what I mean? There's people who uh, the, Whoa, the victims. What? Generally, people <laughs> die. Uh, <laughs> The more, the more you know. Yeah. <laughs> people do die, Katie. People die. Uh, when I was reading Rainbow. Yeah, exactly. No, the more you know. That's what it says, right? The little star goes. So, I, was like, I mean, let's, let's go back to like, you know, so this is where, I, again, this is my sticky point. This is my issue with, let's say, uh, you know, this nature documentary and then somebody coming out and saying, no, look, they totally edited that to make it seem like, you know, these walruses are doing X, Y, and Z. Now I'm not I'm not sitting here saying that climate change is bullshit and all that blah, blah. I'm not saying any of that. All I'm saying is that this seems to be a common trend with Netflix. I don't know what what the deal. Is. I mean, obviously they're in the business of you know making money. The more it's, viewership, yeah, if they I get a, if they get a, an emotional response site, from their audience, watch what they want to watch. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's going to have an opinion on it, just like everything else. Yeah, but but the, for Netflix specifically, I think it comes down to the volume too. Because yeah, name, of course. Name other networks that you watch that have documentaries. Like show, Showtime sometimes. Now Netflix. HBO has HBO documentaries has all over the place. 
basically. Yeah, but not like not like Netflix. Yeah, Netflix not like, a, not like a premium. Yeah. Netflix is the monopoly right an now. An overwhelming amount of people are going to watch documentaries on Netflix over anything else. So when something comes, it's not even close. Yeah. It's going to be regarding Netflix. I think it's just documentaries. I mean, this isn't yeah. brand new. It's documentaries yeah. about yeah. the Holocaust, yeah. and people you're are like, "That's well, not accurate." Well, you know what? Hold on. What I when I view nature documentaries, I just assume maybe this is my ignorance and I'm naive. Important consider like compared to something like that. I assume that it's it's semi factual. I'm like, you know what? This just there are facts. Facts. There, there's it? there's enough drama in nature to, you know, to keep somebody captivated. Did you see that one that Animal Planet put out a couple of years ago called Mermaids? Yes. Did you watch that? I watched all of that. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a great. It was on Shark Week, right? I don't remember. But yeah, like Monsters Week or something. And they went yeah. all out. They had models. They had like captured footage. They skewed it all, whatever. And literally, I was watching. I was like, yeah, this has to be fake, obviously. I was like, yo, man, mermaids, mermaids are real. I'm going to go find one. Like mermaids on podcasts. <laughs> I was fucking trying to friend request Ariel. <laughs> like, where are you at, girl? There were people that were going nuts on Facebook. Like, I can't believe I didn't know. I always knew they existed, like, for weeks. And then what weeks. happened? They just, Animal Planet came out and they were like, yeah, it was fake. <laughs> It's fake. Gotcha. <laughs> April, April oh, Fool's. No, no, I know what you're talking about, but they didn't come out saying that. that they never said that this yeah, was like didn't. a real thing. I mean, the, when they well, that's first, how they sold they it. They made it look, and they made that mermaid look amazing. And people what, like, is this for? But they, they never first, said. Yeah, they know. They, they first, showed clips of it. They never. Yeah. I remember being like, I remember. I remember watching you it. You're one of those people that were like, was, mermaids no. are real. No, I was no, like, no, no, she's right. These idiots like mermaids. I'm like, they clearly never said. That She's right. It, it was like an entire series of yeah. like clickbait. It was almost yeah. like you know what I mean. It OJ never. Simpson, yeah. If I did it, it was like millions of people that if mermaids that. were millions real, of people and everyone was like, dumb, mermaids dude. are real. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Sorry. So that's how I, I. I don't know. Like when I when I when I read or see something like this, I I look at Netflix Netflix now. Like with an eyebrow raise, I'm like, hmm. you should have always, always looked at it like that. Because Netflix like, is not a, trying to sell me something. You should though. It's it's not a news source, bro. It's a form of entertainment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, like no, when, I, I won't watch when I'm watching that. a documentary on, let's say, the Cosmos, I don't expect to, you know, I'm, Neil deGrasse Tyson to be just lying to you. Yeah, like I don't expect. You're like, to, wait you know, a just, second. So, bro, you what? Can, stop trying to sell me shit. Just <laughs> tell me the facts. Let me let me make up my own mind. I'm trying to learn shit. That's up to you. People don't watch that. Sell you anything. You can go on YouTube and watch facts. All right, I suck. Mm-hmm. You can watch anything. At the end of the day, it's up to you if you're going to believe it or not. The Cosmos. That dude's wild, huh? Neil, De- Was it Neil deGrasse Tyson? Yeah. Such a beast, dude. I don't know. If, out of nowhere, he became like fucking Mr. Credibility for it was, every... Uh, that was Joe Rogan. I think everybody should watch um, Joe Rogan the episode did that of Black Mirror with uh, watched it. Bryce watched Dow- it. Ho- Dallas Howard. Don't know who that is, but I watched the episode. The girl, she does like the M. Night Shyamalan movies. No, nope. just tell me, what was the episode about? I watched it all of them. About, that show's fucking um, incredible. Just trying to attain like, likes and you had oh, a rating. Oh, like your your life was like a social yeah. like, rating. Yeah. Those, and I think that's what... Yeah, dude. So what? That's what ex- everybody should watch. Wow, that, that, that's a pretty real real one. That's Close. a really great episode. That's close. Close. Explain it, because I'm not... So, um, and it's and our like viewers, if, so they you know, know... If social media was in real life... Can you pull up that, what episode that is? So everything, you know, if you get likes from people if you do something kind or whatever it is or if you get but you know in this particular episode to get the attain the highest rating you have to be have more and uh i guess be more it almost seemed like be like more finance financially stable whatever it it's is it's just like that, facebook whatever bro. It is that, yeah. you share all the cool you shit you know you want people to have this cool. image of you right. Because so, uh, you live lavishly and you have fake, you know, is that like what people do anyway. Or am I, that's why she's saying watch it. Like oh. that's where we're. That's what I'm like life almost yeah. is moving to. Like right. it's too. Yeah. People just need to pay more attention to like to care, care more about their own opinions. Like themselves, life, I think, and less of like actual you're life, like around you. What you're, you're worried about what you yourself think watching Netflix. What? What? Right. What? <laughs> you, I mean, watching Netflix, like you're making it like it's like some sort of like. Uh, yeah, just watch Netflix and enjoy, it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But if you do watch now, watch Black Mirror. <laughs> Black Mirror is the watch shit. Watch that dude. episode. I wasn't. If did you watch that the new one they came out that interactive one, Bandersnatch? I tried and I couldn't. Like I fell wasn't asleep. feeling it. They. I feel like her. they they might have. That should still be in beta. Like I think they released it sooner than they really should I have. Agree with it you. was like an interactive it movie me where. Was this? Goosebumps, like choose your own fate. You used to love those. Yeah, girls. kind of. Yeah. So, uh, this movie is called <laughs> it's called Bandersnatch. Yeah, like you're watching it, and as you're watching it. Um, a situation will happen in the movie where the character is faced with a choice to make and two um, two choices come up on the screen and you pick which one right. and the one that you pick will dictate you know the next few segments in the but the problem is is if you pick one that's quote unquote wrong it'll almost like tell you and then start you back over where I feel like th- to make that movie really work you kind of have to just have like 
dozens of different storylines and endings that it could have. Well, it didn't start you back over. If you it, didn't well, choose in time, it would... No, no, no. If you choose the wrong, if you choose the if, wrong, I'm using wrong because it's just like a perspective. I don't really remember it. If you choose the wrong one, you'll go on for a few minutes and it'll be a different storyline. But then another choice will come and it just kicks you back to like the first choice you made that's wrong. Right, back to the. Form. You know what I mean? So it's like there's really not a. It doesn't branch out enough, is what I'm saying. You know, like ultimately yeah, I was disappointed. Really, really yeah, great, but they yeah. wanted to rush it out. And it, and it seems like you know I I don't know why they did. It. Like you said, maybe they just wanted to rush it because there were talks about that being made. I think I think it was leaked before it was supposed to be. So now that was like the talk, like oh shit, Netflix is doing interactive things, right. almost like they felt like they had to live up to a time frame. Yeah, they but, have taken more time on it. Yeah, because technology that we have, they could have made that. That could have been dope. Better. And uh, there was one pretty significant named actor in that movie too. Yeah, um, who's that? The, man, the, uh, the kid, right? The the other video game challenge. Yeah. You ever watch uh, Where the Millers? Yeah, you know, the kid that gets his nuts bit by the spider. That oh, kid. the guy with the eyebrows. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's a, he's actually a good actor. He was in um that uh, not Maze Runner, but uh there was another movie. Oh, Maze yeah, it's Maze Runner, right? Yeah, I think he was in that. I think so. Yeah, where they're out in that fucking little maze. enclosure. Yeah, yeah dude, that was a, that was a dope movie. Yeah, George. George, it's not working. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Technical difficulties. All right. So I'm at a point where, like, I don't know. Every time I watch something on TV, oh, I, I thought you meant with George. You're like, George, I'm, I'm at, at a point, point with you, with you George. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like now, I'm just I'm questioning everything. Where it used to be, just like, yeah, I'm watching Full House and um, it's a sitcom. Now, like, it seems like every fucking show, every fucking stand-up comedian, every fucking everything, no, fucking I fucking. I agree with you. Every stand-up comedian. Everybody has like, like, all I watch is Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, and stand-up comedy. I think, damn, yeah. uh, you know, like R.I.P. Alex Trebek, or good luck. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah. For, they're yeah, they're already answer. looking for his replacement and shit too. They're they're like wasting no How do time. You replace somebody like Alex Trebek. That though? man better. Ah, be, uh, you just get another I mean, game show host. Cold and dead in the ground before they replace him. I'll never watch that show again. Yeah, they, said, yeah. they said the same about Bob Barker. Yeah, seriously, and he was replaced he was in a second. Like, no, well, no, he Bing. wasn't because he's he retired. Bing. Yeah, and then he was replaced. He retired. That's just what happens. Like, Jeopardy is not going to be canceled. They're just going to find somebody. Oh, yeah, Wayne Brady obviously. will be in there reading That'd questions like whatever. Kevin Hart's be doing Jeopardy. <laughs> he couldn't see over the podium. Like, no what? shit, dude, like, right? <laughs> Kevin Hart's on Jeopardy like, like this. Distinctive, like. Speaking of, I heard Kevin distinguished. Hart. Yeah, distinguished. Yeah. Thank you. Kevin Hart is coming out with like a, a supplement line or something like that. Kevin Do Hart's involved in a lot of shit. You have like Kevin Hart the fuck? productions, dude. You have Kevin Hart real estate. Like he's involved in everything. Does. He's like he's a comedian. He's like on Bro, Joe he, Rogan's podcast yeah. preaching about supplements. He's right. not just a comedian, dude. He's in fucking phenomenal shape. Oh yeah, that's you know what I mean. Like if I, w- I would listen to him, you know, if he wanted to talk to me about diet and exercise My and supplements, is when he does the ice baths with the. Uh, you ever see those interviews? He does like three cubes in the tub, and he's covered. <laughs> I think it's warm water under there. <laughs> you think so? Uh-huh. I don't think he's phony. I don't think he's fake. I think it's probably really it's ice. Out. Kevin Hart, who's your favorite? Comedian? If you're listening. <laughs> Katie said you were. <laughs> no. Katie said you were lying, uh, bitch. You know, I've been watching a lot of John Mulaney lately. I think he's hilarious. John Mulaney, I've never uh, heard. I love stand-up comedy. My sister got me in Sebastian uh, Macaluso. Hey, that that's one thing. That. Netflix really has a great thing on the I know, Italian like, guy. Stand-up comedy, comedy, comedy is so like, good. Trying to make me go really. Well What's that left. guy's name? Sebastian. Really? You think so? Yeah, I think it just depends which one you watch. Wow, watch Joe Rogan. He's hilarious on there. He's not left-leaning at all. Yeah, I don't want my brain to be mushed. Why is your brain is your brain susceptible to be mushed? I, I thought you were a free thinker. Well, my mistake. Yeah, he's mm. telling me about Netflix. And I'm like, maybe I should watch those comedy specials. <laughs> just based on <laughs> his <laughs> opinion? Me think Good God. Is funny when I laugh. Hey, so who's that comedian that you were just talking about? Sebastian Montesquieu or whatever? Yeah. yeah. She's really funny. He is really funny. Yeah, he's, he's good. That's the guy, you know, I sent you guys a clip in the in the, in the the chat. Like, hey, I don't, my sister I don't and I would love stand up. And she, t- I mean, my sister never goes to bed like past nine. Yeah. It's been 11 p.m. I'm getting like six messages from her. She's like, you have to watch this guy right now. And I do. Bill Burr. You like Bill Burr? Uh, I think uh, his name carries a little more weight than it still should. You know, yeah, I, think so. I, know. I think his name's just Ralphie May. No, but Bill. When you hear Bill, Bur- like a lot of people celebrate Bill Burr, and th- I, I just, I don't know. I'm not Louis a huge C. fan. I love Louis C.K. is my G man. Ugh. I think he got such a bad rep for the whole fucking like, j- like jerking off in front of chicks thing. Like people really wanted his bro. head, and he didn't lose. Yeah, he lost. Jerked work. off in front of a chick. It's like a natural thing now. Hold on, it's not not bro. He asked first though. Like, how can you really give him like shit for that? 
they could just say no like no don't jerk off in front of me man like if you said well, hey hold on let me that... let me finish for once if you said hey josh can i jerk off no for one second i'm sorry <laughs> all right this would never happen by the way can you jerk can i jerk off in front of you i'd be like nah jay i'm good like you can jerk off but i'll leave i'm not gonna say yes and then call you out on it later and be like oh that was really fucked up what you did to me really <laughs> are you really high no cool because these are just those, what are those? Uh, those are jewels we're smoking is out there. No, jewels. No. It's pretty it strong. Either. Strong what? Jewel. Strong it's jewel. Like it's a diamond. It's a lot of tobacco in there. Get it? So you're a bartender? Yes. Yeah. Smooth. Name us the... Name us. Tell us the... Name us. <laughs> yeah, tell us the <laughs> most crazy thing that you've seen at a bar that, like, whether it be a fight, whether it be, I don't know, people... I, whatever. Whatever it may be. I don't want to direct your... I don't know. I feel like I've been pretty lucky... Um, I worked in nothing too crazy nothing too crazy and I'm also I mean my first job was probably the raunchiest I work at uh, uh, the raunchiest. raunchiest that's a different that's a different foxy word. lady um, foxy lady isn't I don't know I, maybe that's not the best word to describe it raunchy I mean it's a perfect word for this show <laughs> It's a raunchy show. Know, the most raunchy degenerate man. bar I've ever worked at was on Broadway in, in Pawtucket, and it was a. Uh, Which bar? It was it was Broadway at the time, and uh, Broadway. Was really great, but <laughs> the crowd funny. that came in was a little rough. But he used to tell me, anybody acts up in here, you know, they come behind this bar, it's a felony, you can kill them. And it was like, <laughs> oh shit! Shot glasses, I had thrown shot glasses at people. Going like, behind the bar is a felony. Shot, why would you throw a shot glass at well, somebody? They, they don't get out. I mean, it sounds more like here. trespassing. Wanna, it's like talking to. Yeah, children? Drunk people. I mean, well, not yeah. even children. Children hey. somehow listen, but yeah. we're drunk people, so that must be hard. So l l let me let me ask you this. Obviously, you're a young female, and were, do you ever feel threatened in a bar? Like if you're by yourself, and you know guys are in there and they're getting rowdy or whatever. Or? Wait, hold on one second. So if you're ever like in a bar and there are just like three fat guys pouring you drinks, do you ever feel threatened? What, I don't understand. You're asking me if I'm out He's drinking in a bar? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, never You're mind. You're on a podcast. Do you ever feel threatened? <laughs> Two and a half. I don't understand. No, I don't feel threatened. <laughs> no, I killed I mean, about eight people where I was coming today also, by the way. So Did you just say you killed about eight people? I told eight people where I was oh, okay. going to be. So, yeah, I don't feel threatened I told you to stop giving the real address, bro. Um, Sorry. Yeah, so, I mean, do you ever feel, like, being a... Being a bartender, it's late Do at I night. Feel Fred? Maybe when I was younger, like but just I don't scared. Think so, like, I just and I also just have a different attitude. I just what's what's the change in attitude? Can you what's the change in attitude? Yeah, from what to fuck really somebody up, like, so, fuck yeah. someone up I if mean, you yeah. have to. Yeah. You got a carry permit or no? No. You should get one. We can point you in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. One of our previous guests uh, owns a gun shop. Now. Yeah, but just do it legally. <laughs> do it le no, do it legally. I'm just saying, do it legally. You know, no, get, I can't, but get I've the permit and, and just honestly, I've, up. I've always worked in the same area. Hey, can I get I another mean, shot? Now it's last call. I've been fortunate fuck? enough. Like I've said, there are there are guests who, if somebody even speaks, you know, calls me like a nasty name, it's kind of like, hey, don't you need to watch it. Yeah, but define go. define nasty. What's a nasty name? I don't a c think, word. Whatever. Whoa, that no shit, gets bro. Gets out of line. What you know? Right. It's it's. it's which probably happens frequently, obviously. Doesn't People happen. are but I think what it is, it just the same as in life, like the, the attitude that you carry and the confidence that you carry, you know, um, people can really sense that. And I'm not the type people know, like you come like get, the, fuck get the fuck out, man. You know, I've had people that, mm -hmm. you know, their neighborhood you guys probably know them. Just neighborhood drunks and they, they they know if they walk in, they see me, they're not coming in, you're not coming in, you're not getting served and right. you're an idiot. Take a hike. Who? Give us a name. I can't. No, just kidding, no give us a name. Another, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name either. And I, mean, I, I know love, it is. But the, I fortunately love like all the people that I serve, and um, see, I would, made I would, a lot of really good friends. Yeah. That I would consider even family now. I've been I would definitely classify you as a, as a, you know, you're a good personality to have behind a bar. Um, you know, obviously there, there are people that are just not social. You know what I mean? They're. Right. And I'm very dry, and I know, and I, I do. I, I mean, I obviously customer service. Like I like people yeah. to go out and you're spending money, and I want you mm -hmm. to have enjoy yourself. Sure. But my favorite part, and I think there's as well. Um, I just I, I try to make them laugh. I shoot it straight. Right. So you're uh, you become like a regular or a friend. It's it's That's very good for it's business. very nice to um I actually care. You know, there's there's people who are, who come in that I worry about. You know, older gentlemen. You don't show up at the same time or the same days a week, and I'm like, all right, I haven't seen something them. happened. What? Yeah, you know, people. You get you, I get really really emotional, really into it. I enjoy hearing um, about their lives and what's going on with them. Let me let me ask you this: How how does it affect? Let's say your personal life in, in in a relationship, meaning 
do guys that you have dated in the past or whatever, do they have a problem with you being a bartender and and or hanging around, let's say, that scene, you know, that late at night? Yeah. Et cetera, yeah. et cetera, of course, yeah. Yeah. Um, how, how do you handle that? How do you... How do you well, I got out of that Are you single or no? <laughs> um, I'm, see, I'm dating someone. Are you seeing the same guys that used to give you shit about working late? No, I See, that's that how, was that's a, how no, she handles it. I was it. with somebody for right. That's so how you handle that it. Was one person, it fucking was for insecure a long time. motherfuckers Money beat is, it. Kind of stinks as a woman too to kind of give up like a little bit about yourself and. Um, we well, you shouldn't have to, you know what right, I mean? Right? No, it's, but um, it it also sucks to that's the way that you kind of bring income into the house, and then you're being told like. That's so much money. Go take your clothes off for money or whatever it is, and it's like you know. Then yeah, you, my girl works at a restaurant, and like they they started off serving beer. And they switched over to a full bar. And once I heard that, like, my fucking, like, money wheels were spinning. And I'm like, damn, let's get you, like, a license. Let's get you in the let's fucking, get money, let's right, get you right. in the hottest nightclubs. Like, I'm going to call my strip no, club I mean, owners. We're going to fucking. I also fucking... that way. There's, I don't really have any room in my life for right? anybody. She's, like, putting on a shirt. I'm like, wear this one. She'll, I, like, I know what, it, what I, when I tip more at a barge, a barge, a bar. <laughs> on a barge. She's fun. <laughs> she's flirty. I think tits really, are out. Really I'm like, wear this shirt. I'm like, wear this shirt. It's very sexy to me. Like, the guy that I'm dating will come in and sit. Nobody knows that I date him and just give me a wink and and I'll be the same that I am and I'll be flirty and the guys will say and it's not even too bad um you know not too out of line but it's that's I don't know that's kind of what you want if there's it's just the hustle it's, it's the I hustle it is what it is yeah, yeah you, I, mean, I tell her to take off her there, engagement ring I'm like take off your ring before yeah, you go to work you like, know what do it for fuck. me I'm is, is there a point I, I can do and it I'm, I'm asking both you. of you just you know uh is there a point where maybe uh I'm saying from a safety aspect, like for safety for your girl. You know, it, let's say if she if she was a bartender and was closing at night, you know, uh, Sasha looks pretty small from what I've seen from Facebook. You know what I mean? She's petite. Is that accurate? I don't know. Yes. Most places. Like be, <laughs> it's like a you catch know, 20. Man, you know, there. <laughs> I to, no, I just have to think. I, I have to worried. think first. As, you know, I'd be worried. No, nah, she's my, huge, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, no, nah, she is. I mean, because I'm small. I, um, it's not that I'm not what put it yeah, but what she's talking about is very different. I, I don't know. You asked a question about do jealous guys have like you didn't say the word you jealous, but the, that's what you right, meant. Do guys have a problem? Say, he would his main concern. He would never call me asking, "Hey, is there somebody to walk you out?" It was, "Hey, that's what I'm." The saying. fuck are you? It's Two very you know different mean? things, yeah, you know. Yeah. Like of course, you know, like I also know where she is. It's not the most rowdy place, you know. Like if right. she worked at a place where, like, all right, that's a bad, you know, a rough area, or there's going to be a lot of dudes that are over the top. I'd probably come in before closing and like time I said, and you know half make the people. They're they're people who you become, and I mean, they before I would say something. If they it's see it's you pretty or similar or to like a LaFoyer you, that clientele. You know, it's happened many times. Friends of mine, I have family that will come sit and wait if I'm uncomfortable with something. Any scary moments, like where you had to worry about somebody like following you or that kind of thing. You have money on you. No, not even the money. And that's what I worry about is I think somebody's going to, it's like a pattern. I'm going to leave every night the same time. Somebody's going to see it and somebody's going to, but I make sure I'm carrying something on me, you know, a taser or a freaking night, whatever it is. And I make sure that I'm safe. I always park like right in front of wherever I work. I was everywhere I work as well. I I tell them like if I'm going to be closing, then this is where I'm going to be parking. You should have the the spot closest to the door. Smart. Yeah. Um, and nobody, no owners ever have any issue with that. I think that makes sense to everybody. Yeah, hundred percent. I I used no, to work. Sure if there were like bouncers that's... wherever you wherever you're working, they would walk you to the car or a security a doorman or something. I remember um, even the best at Doherty's. It's a crap burger now. I don't know if anybody and knows about that, but Doherty's. Uh, no, no, that's not Pawtucket. That's Murphy's. It was. No, it is Pawtucket. Uh, East oh, Island, is that near East Modern Diner? Yeah. Oh, my, Irish right. Me and my buddy. That was the best. There were so many. Yo, that was that was like a little low key place, and two of two of my friend two two of my friends and me went there. We lived in Pawtucket our whole life, and it wasn't like a super popular place, you know what I mean? But we went, and we're like, this is legit, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it was cool, fucking yeah. nice, tiny little spot across from Modern Diner, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, and um, w- they sold it recently, right? Maybe like a year ago, two uh, years ago yeah, at the it's most? it's probably going on a year now. Yeah, because I remember sharing the article. I was like, bro, look at our spot. Like, it's gone. See, like, when Damn. you know, you're, you're describing well, your nights, and I know you're smart enough, and you take care of yourself. And, but sometimes um, I could probably be a little naive that way. I mean, I'm th- I think, you know, I'm 32. I'd, I'd be worried if it was concerned. my daughter. Look, I have, you know? I've, I've had 18-year-old, 23-year-old women working for me, and I'm, I I will say, I'm going to walk you out. I'm, I'm walking you out. But right. me, myself, I'll be the last one to leave, and I think I got it. But at the same time, somebody can, somebody, something can always happen. It's always like a thought. But. Actually, it could happen no matter where you work if you're closing. Yeah, so, I it mean, happens I guess, everywhere. It happens every day. Yeah, that's so right. it's just the thing that women have to worry about, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, speaking of uh, the whole women in that, you know, uh-oh, David Blaine, wasn't he's getting, now he's getting... 
accused of sexual you know the story i think better than yeah I, I, I mean i just i just read some headlines and a few articles but david blaine you know who he is he's a magician yes I all right very so he's they're they're like an illusionist yeah there are women yeah. that are coming out saying that he hypnotized them and then sexually assaulted them my, my what's your first Can thought I ask on that how, my first thought is <laughs> my, how would they remember my first thought is <laughs> fucking genius bro like if i could hypnotize, you know how much you would get laid if you could hypnotize people that's kind of sick well, that's bro you're, you're actually that's saying that you raped see, somebody i didn't read that see, i guess it's another depending on what <laughs> you what source you're yeah yeah, yeah i got my info from, from netflix so <laughs> <laughs> well then now you get to form your own opinion on it just kidding what, <laughs> what did you read <laughs> Um, just that th they were in a hotel room with him somewhere, and I didn't know the hypnos uh, hypnotized thing did not come into the article so, that I read. Yeah. So there's a bunch of girls in a hotel room from David Blaine, and then they have sex with him and didn't like it. That's all I heard from the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, so many ways to twist that. Well, they I mean, said yeah. that he, I'm not saying uh, it didn't one happen. said that she he forced himself on her at a, in a hotel. All right, that's a different story. Uh, yeah, I didn't read that. I didn't see anything like that. Yeah. You know, mine and was then that, you know. they said that there was a case from years ago. In London or yeah, something, yeah, right? Yeah, in the UK. Dismissed. Yeah. But it, it's so. And I'm not such, listen, It's I, such a sketchy thing. Not sketchy because it's one of those things where it's always going to be a he said, she said for the most part. Right. What I and hate don't most like, is you don't want to shame victims, but you don't want to persecute people that didn't do it there are, there are women out there who do things and they you know they want to they're uh, oh, yeah. yeah but there are also men out there that fucking rape bitches you but know that's what i mean what like I mean, yeah. they're pretty shitty well, rape bitches is probably not what we want to say that's what i want to say you don't want to say i'm I, <laughs> I just think <laughs> I it's horrible. Horrible. I mean, it's very it's nothing wrong well, that's what they're doing word, oh the bitches rape, part i'm sorry rape, um i mean i'm gonna go ahead and get a little fucking feminist here rape bitches that's fine you you have you have every right to be feminist rape culture i mean it's kind of i just said i don't they're shitheads i don't like rapists don't say i like i'm not adding to the you rape like culture no and it's it, the rape culture. i'm saying like like we we can't discount the fact that some women lie but it doesn't matter because some I women act, the, uh, some under, men actually right, do the, fucking the assault thing, women the worst thing chicks can i say chicks committing that <laughs> act would probably be a woman plagiarizing it because it's that's going to take away like there's actual victims out there and i think it's pretty awful for women to do i think it's terrible i think i think that women that get like, caught should face the same penalties but I also think as the, the guy would have in this conversation right here i don't even like it because any inclination that there's like if there's some young girl watching that had something awful happen and we were like well maybe it's I don't even, you don't even put that in somebody's mind. That what do you somebody mean? might not believe a thing that you say. But that's but the truth, though. That that really happens. So I'm not going to lie about it. You know, there, I think it's there's a lot of victim more, blaming. I think, I think it's happening less and less. I think, I think it's happening way wait, more. What's happening more and less? I mean, you guys lost me in this conversation. What are you um, saying is happening more? I think that's what's happening more and more is. is what I, people uh, uh, what, I know Like the back. victim <laughs> almost has to prove her yes, story. Yes, for, yes, yes. I don't so agree with that at all. Forward. Right. Because they and don't. You're saying. I think it's. I think more women are starting to come forward because we're because taking we're it more serious. More of an opinion about it, like saying, you know, we're talking about it more, like, oh, is she lying? Is she not? Like, that's what I meant was. But, it yeah, but you, well, you, let me ask you. you can't so back in the day, that you know, that happened. That didn't. If something happened, you were. I don't, so I don't know. Well, let, let me ask you this. It's so Should tough because how do you on, how do you punish second. somebody? You can't Should, just wait, punish them we, based let on let nothing. Let me just ask this question really fast. So, how do we know if somebody? That could be a potential victim. How do we know if they're actually telling the truth well, or not? Well, this is what I think. That I don't think that the yeah, way ahead. to figure those things out and investigate those issues well, um, has changed. What I think is that we have more, and when I say we, okay. I mean men, have more of a say in it now. And I think it's very scary to women that men are... Thank you. You're welcome. Um, that's what I mean. I'll just say it. A lot of men are say saying now, there's men that are saying that this should happen... Uh, this didn't happen. This didn't happen. That bitch is lying. That, you know what I mean? Oh. It's kind of so you think they're kind of using the guise of like, oh, it was consensual as their defense. No, no, no. Or? I just think that what he was asking is how do you, how do you change that? How do you have somebody you know not feel so afraid to come forward? And I yeah. just think that this wasn't well, a no. thing in the day. You know, my my, my question is, I'm not, pro I'm not sure how to articulate this. How, I'm sorry. How do I we just, know? the liar from the person that's actually a vi how do how do we differentiate the two if they're both telling meaning like this person comes out but she's lying this person comes out she's telling the truth i just how wonder do, what, without, what what do you think without I mean, questioning outside of financial gain and uh, sure you know uh, 
just any woman, what gain does she have? Spite. Like, people really like to see other people get shit. There is spite, but shit. financial gain is a huge... I'm just saying, I'm not saying an ordinary woman is not right. going to be... This is not like a case against our president or, you know... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What well, the president... What, what is... I'm oh, just yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What is her... What is the point? I can I, I can I give you a bunch... I, I can give you a bunch right now. I want to bring that kind of trauma and attention upon herself. Well, financial gain, but then also self-preservation. And I'm using this in a sense of where, say you, uh, a woman cheats on... Self-preservation, I understand that, only... If somebody cheat, say, a like say a woman she cheats on her husband. Say a woman cheats on her husband or women. cheats on her boyfriend, and then you know she doesn't want to lose what she has, so she may or may not say like, "Hey, it wasn't consensual." I'm just giving you an example, and I think that more often than not, they they probably really happened. I think more often than not, victims think are no telling the what truth. It is or how to deal with it? Me personally, if a, if a woman is, or even a man for that sake is making that sort of an accusation, I'm gonna go ahead and just believe them first. Just make them feel. Uh, it's just it's so tough because again this yeah i, I agree with that who don't say a lot of a lot of children also who don't yeah. say a lot of things because they don't think anyone's going to believe them they're threatened i'm not disagreeing with you but how do then, then we the the next level of that question is how do you punish the accused the accused well, because you do, an invest, you, you do an investigation i mean that's what you for mean. instance perfect example but you, is, you can't immediately punish them do you agree Ford that you have to no, hold you on them. you have just to like any other you, well, you need evidence before you charge oh, somebody. You know, well, let's, Are you saying that the victim's statement is enough evidence to charge somebody? I'm saying well, somebody's charged is because they have enough evidence, right? So right. But what I'm saying is, is what I said so, initially. Is so, what I said. All right. So the investigation. I, I agree with that. It, it's tough because the thing when it comes to like sexual assault or these allegations, a lot of times your your life and your reputation and your livelihood As could be man, could be sacrificed. That's what you mean could be sack or a woman whatever the case is okay. whoever whoever okay. the accused is right. all of these things that you've worked for could be sacrificed or or you know gone before the investigation is done correct and it's just a weird i don't Absolutely. know it's a, just it's, somebody coming out and but right it. now i mean that's literally the justice system for any form of a it's crime. not it's not the same though that's a really heinous crime because it, i think it's worse than if you're accused of murder correct. if you're accused correct. of murder and somebody says hey you're a murderer an investigation will happen. You'll get tried, and you could be innocent, and I'm then you're probably not going to deal with that anymore. Not, it's not like a something that's out of spite. I, I agree with you. I think more often than not, it's the truth, and something did happen. But it still, it still sucks for you know, like I don't know for, for people that are punished for something they never it's hard did. It's for me to discuss it, and why I try like stumble on my words in this particular right. topic is that you are. I don't think ever. You will ever understand as men. I don't. I, I agree with you. I've had this conversation you just asked with him. Me about, uh, do I feel afraid walking away from work? Yeah. Yes. And how do you feel about, you know, what if I've I been walk sexually out of work assaulted. and I'm like, this happened? Yeah. And then nobody. We were talking I, recently I about. Have been sexually assaulted. We were talking. Well, well. Yeah. and I'm yeah. hold on. I, I'm I'm glad you both brought this up. Both both brought this up because. My conversation with Jay is very different than my conversation ever would be with you. Right. Because when you know, just hear me out for a minute, my. When Jay tells me he's sexually assaulted, he tells me that a woman in a bar grabbed him and he didn't like that. And I say, okay, but well, hold on, I, but yes. hear me out. And he put that on the same playing field as a woman being sexually assaulted. I would as well. I, I think it's completely think different. Like, well, well. No, because I feel like, right, like if Jay is sexually assaulted by a woman, you take the average man and the average woman, he's probably never in any real physical danger for the most part. Because if he wants to get away from that situation, okay, yeah, hold on, but you. you're, you're not, you're, I think you're, the average woman, the average man and the average woman I based just, on just physical alone, I he's probably going to be able to avoid that situation if he wants it to stop, where the average woman may not be. Correct. If it becomes, like, please stop because jerking over, me off. Where it becomes to like an overpowering <laughs> thing, right, if it becomes an actual right. attack and an assault, yeah. That's what I'm saying. have a better chance. You, you just, yeah, a much better chance. And I'm, I'm not, if women are in the room with me. It's gonna However, even. It's gonna I sound think, weird know, to say, and if they're all trying to bang me, and I'm like, no, women, stop I'm it. Be a feminist and say that I don't think that that's the same thing, because coming and grabbing my tit and grabbing your dick is the same thing. I think they should be punished the same point. way, but I, the feeling, the the feeling can't be the same. You know, like it's. Uh, I just wouldn't be as well, afraid. I don't be, think as a woman. Would. Beings, so yeah, we that's what I'm saying. We never know that though. We will literally never know if it's the same because I will never be a man. I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, yeah, that's that sucks. You know that that happened. So. But I don't know. I, I just what I think is that we all just I could be wrong, but it, it seems like sometimes our opinions to ourselves until something is known because I think it is literally it's very heavily going to affect the amount of people who have actually had something occur and, and come forward. If what, we keep but shouldn't it be to, talked about? Isn't this a subject that should be? But it's been what I was saying is being spoken about more now 
in a negative way where, oh, are they, are they telling the truth, you know? Are they See, I don't think that. I feel like that, that hashtag Me Too movement really helped the cause and bring more sexual assaulters to light. And right, it's, and now it's, I think it's and- I think more people now are coming forward and saying, hey, it happened to me. But I think just with the the sure quantity of people that are coming forward, you get more liars, and you know, like when that happens, th- those cases, yeah, eyes, like oh god, like not, you yeah, get more yeah, of that so, too. So, but, uh, maybe but that's it's that's collateral that, these, that it took until now for all of these people. But so you know, know why? So really can we, can we discuss, I'm okay with that. I, like, conversation I'd rather further. hold on. I'd rather have more people rolling their eyes as long as more victims are actually coming forward. Correct, that's but, that's the result that matters. You know what? The reason why people roll their eyes more is because of stuff like Dr. Ford in Kavana that was on TV. We don't even hear about her anymore. Like, ever since Kavana was, uh, you know, he got the seat and blah, 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 that whole big trial, what happened to her? Where did she go? Where's that whole movement that she was talking? And see, and that that sends a bad message to an ignorant public, an ignorant society uh, that's looking at this and going, so, like, there was all these uh, accusations, like, oh, man, here she is. She's trying to ruin this guy from getting a seat. It's a big political move, blah, 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 blah. Come to find out that it was all bullshit. And now where is she? Well, no, they didn't say. You see, this is I think where you and I like you. I mean, uh, respectfully, you and I get into a lot of this on social media, a lot of uh, disagreements, yeah, especially yeah. in issues like this. But you, you don't um, say. what I appreciate you yeah. about you is that you can express yourself in a way that makes me want to listen to what you're saying. And uh, you also, if I make a valid point, you acknowledge let me it. Know that, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. What I don't like is just that on either side, somebody just being so closed-minded that you're not even hearing. Correct. You know what somebody else is saying. It's like their and mind is made I up. I think got into yeah. a really uh, a big debate about it is uh, I did not feel the same way that you did. There's nothing worse than trying to. And she didn't. It didn't have, let's just be clear. It was never said that it, it was bullshit. No, it just fizzled it just away. That's that, all that happened. Yeah, it just fizzled out. Yeah. Years ago, we don't have enough. Yeah, yeah. you know, evidence. Yeah, nothing. And, nothing was proven, so we don't know if she was so lying or telling was, the truth. Yeah, and what sucks is, let's be honest. I'm looking at these fucking but Ivy League fucking silver spoon you know, politicians, and probably, and who knows, maybe she had a little, that's what stinks. Yeah, okay? we, so you, can't, f- st- you can't forget that money makes you shit go be, away. There's a woman that no, no, I I'm, right now in a position where she was um, stuck somewhere she didn't want to be, and she felt like, you know, the guy was really pressuring herself on, himself on her, and she wanted to leave, and she was taught, she's like, well, I just slept with him because I just wanted to get out, I was afraid and I wanted to get out of there. Do you think that's rape? Good God, I wasn't ready to answer this yeah, question today. I wasn't today. ready to answer that either. <laughs> so, so when you, but when you, she's I mean, at a party and she's drove, she, she was drinking, and she was making advances, and this, I mean, this was just I, your, and, and I'm, I, and to be honest, I have you ever felt that way? I, I felt that way, like, oh my God. But see, that's, do this, I'm telling you, bro, mad, that's me. the difference between like that's men and I'm women in that situation. Because I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna be able to say, fuck you, give me my keys, and I'm taking them. You know what I mean? a stronger, but bro, we're talking about the average. I'm talking about the average. He's saying he can say, give me my keys, I'm getting out of here if it was a woman. Where I can just say, no, you're not. Like, now what are you gonna do? To the average woman is not gonna be able to get those keys. And she oh, said I, she was afraid. You can't deny that, dude. Like, think about it. She thought, no, no, I'm going to need to sleep with him to get out of here. That's that's I where never, I have an issue. I because there's so deny that Uber. men are Why stronger Uber? and bigger and that kind of thing. I mean, if he's holding you against your will. Well, you're saying, like, physically he's like not. Like, trying to get out. And she's like, he's like, don't, you know. And Then I would say that's rape. Like, okay. if he's physically stopping her from but leaving. But she knew. And she even said, she's like, I just, you know, I do. It's, it's, like, it's unfortunate, but that's. And he took her phone. She couldn't call, like. It, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm not giving you him know, an I'm not excuse. Get into, I mean, I don't even know why it has to go detail for detail. I mean, you think, well, be, think hold on because he's not going to take your phone away. Or, I don't know. I don't know. But do like, there, there are so many levels to this. That would just go. I mean, I'd make a phone That's true. call first. There is levels. There are so many levels. Like, is she somewhere in it? And a dude looking just for a gray area in a black and whites. There is a gray area though. There's always a gray area in a he said she said. Well, I, I, again, I look at I look at but when you Dr. Say, Ford, on, and now we don't hear anything from her. What, does her story not matter in the Me Too movement well, anymore? We don't hear it? anything from her because she might not be getting the exposure. Well, you know, she the, could still be saying the same things. But that's what I'm saying. Because so, we don't hear it doesn't mean anything. I, I'm, I'm well, saying, why would she still be story, saying it? Nobody listened or believed her the first if, time. If you look at that's the story, because it's it doesn't sell anymore. It doesn't sell anymore because there's no resolution. It doesn't sell because nobody's... Nobody cares. Not enough people care. about it any longer. That's what I'm saying. I, like, I think her story her, could still I be the be same. Like, you know, why bother? Because nobody fucking believed me anyway. Well, that's that's an unfortunate. Why would I still be that's an unfortunate her? culture. Like, I'm not disagreeing with you. Um, I would say based on what you just told me, if that dude physically is not letting her leave, so then it's rape. Right. 
No, he's not about to interrupt this shit right now. We're talking about fucking. <laughs> That shit got tense. Close and loud. Ah, that's good. That's good. That usually happens when we start boozing and talking about inappropriate shit. Subjects. I feel bad because he told me to use the bathroom first. Like, do you have to go pee? No, go pee. If you have to pee, pee. There's a bathroom. Just bring the mic in with you and the camera. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna see. I would probably classify that as like borderline. Yeah. No, that's just where your mind's at, man. That's just where your mind's at. She calls me too. Hashtag, sir. Uh, so know. where were we? So where did we get into we're that? We're talking about David Blaine. I, I don't know. Um, me personally, I, I get tired of hearing about like these, I mean, these the sexual only... assault incidences that You're happen. tired of hearing about them, bro? No, Show hold on. Them. Let me finish. Fuck. I get tired of hearing about them against c- celebrities. Um, well, it's almost like, and I'm sorry to cut you off again, but it's just like yeah. if you're in a position of power as a woman, like even that man was a nobody, but if you're in a position of power, whether it be professionally or physically... It's unfair to use that against a woman for your advantage. So if this was somebody who worked for him, somebody on the production staff, somebody who was you know but below that's a, that's him, that's a big assumption, though. Right? I don't. I'm not assuming. I said you if, look up David Blaine net worth. You know, maybe they thought they were. I agree with you. It's unfair. Find the ladder. It's you unfair. Do this and uh, what is yeah. it? Quid pro quo or whatever the yeah. fuck it is. I'm I think sorry. it's unfair, <laughs> and I think it's creepy as fuck. However, I mean. Um, and this is probably gonna. I don't mean to offend you, and I don't. I don't mean to you're offend about, anybody listening. Offended. You're about to get offended. You you may, based on how I say this, but <laughs> prostitution in itself <laughs> is one of the oldest professions. <laughs> prostitution in itself is oh, one of the oldest yoga. professions, yoga. and I think I think a transaction between two consenting adults is I completely don't fine. You think I would be offended? I'm I, open-minded. Well, I'm just saying, like, if if a woman that, said, literally, like, are like listen, not being held against their will, and they like want to go. Like, hear me out. Let, let me just get fine. thirty seconds out. If a woman says, hey, you pay me X amount of dollars and I will have sex with you, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And if a woman said, or if a man said, hey, instead of money, I will give you, you know, a role in this movie or like I'll give you this promotion if you have sex with me and you'll make more money. She can say no or she can say yes. I don't think that, you know, that to me, that's just another form of prostitution, which I think if two consensual adults are okay with, it's okay. I don't think so, because in that case, that woman is not a prostitute. She's an actress. And she should not be asked. Yeah, but the only the only difference though the way that everybody else should be paid and not be, you know, uh, not given a role or you know a choice. Right. If it was a male actor, be like, suck my dick and take this money. No, give her the fucking money. She's not a (laughs) prostitute. Like I said, uh, but then what if what if that person is like, well, she's not qualified for this position. Well, that's what it always is. Well, that shouldn't be. You shouldn't be able to say that. Then don't hire her. What do you mean? She should. Why didn't she's qualified? She sucks your dick. But not for the. Don't ask me. Like no. Depends on what the only one person sucking my dick. <laughs> you just said that. Um, I, I don't, yeah. T- I guess I just look at it the same way. It was I mean, you. you know, like is pro- like prost- <laughs> To me, it's just another form of prostitution. You're getting one thing, the man's getting no, sex. But, you said but I guess I, I guess you're right. If somebody's in the sex trade and they consent, that is fair. Somebody's an actress yeah. and she's looking for a role. You don't get to say, like I said. True. True. You make a good point. I mean. You're right. Thanks. Right now, let me let me sit on this for a little bit. Right. Let me let this marinate. David Blaine has. Really, he's that rich? Because when you when I mean, he buries my, himself in the ground. Yeah, but my right. first thought was like, if if London for like here's why yeah, I, that's right. here's why I the believe the girls. Was going next to that man. The reason I believe the girls that say that he did something wrong to them is because like like if you're gonna go after a celebrity, like would you pick David Blaine? Like, I don't. There know. are a he lot different lights. There are a lot more you know? names you could get a lot more money from. Like under like what you know? Yeah, you don't know. Like how did they come to be? And it's also and I, and that, you know, so well, that they goes were back around to what we were saying. He's like, how do, you, how do you know if someone's telling the truth? He, about? he hypnotized them. <laughs> I mean, do we just do we you just know, process and believe you, every every single person? That, you just let no, you like you do an investigation. Is hypnotizing is like the same as getting See, somebody too drunk, I right? Obviously, would never have an issue with if a hundred percent of the the people that are claiming were were actual real. I have a, I have a big problem. Well, with bro, you can't have hundred percent accuracy on know, anybody's I story. I, I, what I'm saying is that I, you know I have a huge. I don't even problem. believe you were ever sexually assaulted. Yeah, well, I was several times. There's only one I way to know for sure. It. No, I'm just kidding. If um, I do it now, well, <laughs> I'm on. Sure. I have a, I have I have a joke big, about that shit with you, bro. I'm like, I have a <laughs> shut up. I have too. Let's hurry first. No, I'm glad you went because I wasn't sure I was allowed to. Of course you are. I'm gonna lift the seat. Put it back down. I have a big problem with people coming out and just, uh, you know, joining the movement. I understand that. I understand and that, that, that really actually, bothers me. It pisses think, me off. You know, I led with that. I said I'm the first to say that that is an awful thing. 
because that only takes away from the, the men, but it takes away from the women as well. Because there are women out there that I know of that I, in my that have been in my history that you know they purposely leave things out because they they just don't want to remember certain things. They like you know what I had sex with that guy, but I don't want to admit it, so I'm just gonna fucking you know that guy doesn't count. Or you know like they manipulate a situation solely because it makes them feel disgusting inside. And I understand that, but it's not necessarily a hundred percent accurate when you're selling like, yeah, a story. Happened, like, no. I would deny, deny, deny. I would yeah. be like, yeah, you're right, man. But like, no, I've never slept with that man. I don't even know who he is. Right. Last time I slept with a man, I was really drunk. Yeah. How'd that go? <laughs> Did he hypnotize you? <laughs> he hypnotized me. His name was David. Was it? Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Isn't he married? Doesn't he have some wife who does some also some weird stuff? I don't know. I have no idea. But you know what? I... You, I would assume, and this is why I would say, I'd love to be wealthy. I would never want the celebrity, the celebrity status. Like, you know, just... Uh, leave, everybody leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, right? Everybody leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, right? Everybody leave me the fuck alone. That's a good, good podcast. I'd love to have all the money in the world yeah. in a fucking castle on top of the hill. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. It's very right. spacious, though. So have fun in there. There is none. There is no door. <laughs> so, all right, so we're we killed the whole sexual. Yeah, in episode two, bro, we've been talking about that shit all the time. Yeah, but it is nice to have a woman's perspective on it because usually it's just us men, and we can't really put ourselves ourselves in their shoes, dude. You know, it's but, well, we can as humans because I, like I said, I've been sexually assaulted. Yeah, but we're so we, different. We're well, so different. Y- yes and no to a degree. I mean, yes. We might process it differently because we are men. We're chemically different, you know, that kind of thing. I think the danger is different, yeah, the you know. Point. The, the, the physical danger and the possible consequence and what it can escalate to is very different. Well, let, but women that get sexually assaulted, it doesn't necessarily automatically mean they're in danger. You know what I mean? Most, I, most I guys mean, probably just want to fuck the shit out of them. I don't know. I don't know. No, they don't want to fucking punch them or hurt them. Maybe I have no idea. You realize that you don't have to punch somebody to rape them. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. How did that? <laughs> I've never done that. So. That wasn't rape. He didn't punch her. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that you're, you know, you're saying like women are in danger. I don't know. I th- is that true? I mean, I, I would think most guys. Let's would. ask a woman. I don't know. I can't really keep saying that. Yeah. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, that's why oh, all right. Thank you. Fuck fruit. God. Why do they still smell like pee? <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> that's just my soap. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's got that fucking uh, of, dove uh, urine. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? Is this supposed dove to be this urine? Yeah. Um, you're good. Like I said, just make sure you're two f- fists away. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, like, I- I've had women come up and grab my junk, like, just straight up whatever. Like, I don't know them. Yeah, but I've, what I've were you wearing? Dr- what Were you wearing, like, gray sweatpants? Because if so, that you shouldn't have wore them. No, I wasn't wearing any pants. Oh, well, what the fuck? <laughs> I've had women drag me into bathrooms. Bro, dragged you, yeah, like dragged bad. you. Hey. How big was this woman, dude? Like, let, that's <laughs> dragged you. you. That's look, that's what the big difference I don't is. Victim shame you though, man. So. But, but listen, if the I roles were reversed, him right now. if the roles were reversed, there would be a huge problem, right? If a woman said, "Hey, a guy dragged me into the bathroom," well, you know, it's because are you saying it, that there's no women out there that are stronger than me. No, but you're being. You can't I say that. Think you can't just use, like he said the word drag or, or drug. You can't. I mean, maybe push it a little bit and you stumbled a little bit, but don't. Yeah, I was fucking hammered. I just think there's an obvious difference of you know the the danger that women are in versus the danger men are in. Actually, appreciate what you're saying because you real recognize that, and even like as yeah. women, sir, as women, we recognize that. That we're physically what different. I felt what I really, really despise are the men who are like, "Well, you want to be treated equal, and you can get a punch in the face." Well, no, that's, man, that's, that's stupid. not. That's not what we're saying here. Oh man, we that's recognize what I said that on the podcast. you can be. You know, you want. You're to like, be, you want as much money as us? Fine, punch. I'll punch you in yeah, the face yeah, right exactly. now. <laughs> But then again, I don't think that women should be paid equally yeah. as men either. So, just kidding. Uh, we're done. <laughs> we're done here, right? No, no. Uh, so I, I just, I don't know. I, I wouldn't consider myself. I mean, what is a feminist? Like, I'm not an overly well, aggressive like, feminist. Like feminist is, we just want equality. I was trying to express that, which is why I said, you know, me <laughs> saying that you getting grabbed in the dick is different than somebody touching me. It's not. You know, we we just want to be able to. 
be equal. But at the same time, I think it's that is more of a... Well, we'll um, never be equal. We know that, that right? That is just... Well, but to, let me finish. What I'm saying is that is more of a... Um, about to unleash. <laughs> like a, really oh, weird thing to say, to say after a, a rape talk. Kind of, that just means like we want to be we want to be, be equal and as far as respect. Right. Oh, hold on. When you say equal, are you thing. talking about legally e equal? What I mean is respectfully, and you know, as far as um, salaries and I, I don't. I don't You're know. speaking legally. Legally equal. I want to make sure. No. no. What I'm saying is. It's not lost on me the things that you say that, and I actually appreciate that that you can understand the separation here. I'll never be as strong. We're always going to be, you know. We still want some sort of chivalry and valiance, but hmm. that's just because it, you can recognize it. We just thought we're. I just think there's some there's some common sense. Yeah. I mean, do any of you realize if we shut the shit down, there's none of us left? You realize I mean, that works both ways. It works though, both right? ways. Well, we can literally just keep a couple of you. But. Yeah, but we can just oh. keep a couple. Yeah, well, it would you. take a while. No, it would take a while, bro. Remember we talked about last time. Like that's the men's primitive in our DNA. We can just go shoot what a I'm ton of loads. Is, one man, track one man can get ten girls pregnant at the same so. time. She can't get pregnant ten times at what once. What I'm saying, and I should have gone off topic there, but um, no, that was on topic. I, I think you mean legally. You want the same opportunities that we men have. We want the same opportunities, with the same respect we want. But you know, and I'll open the door for. But what I mean, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. I know me personally, and in a relationship with hey, the man, I want welcome, him to open the welcome door Welcome to me. the podcast. I want, yeah, no, right. I do. I want him to open the door. I want him to, if we're out and somebody's going to be like, hey, man, don't talk to her like that. Like, I want somebody to be chivalrous. Yeah. Absolutely. But that doesn't mean that I don't want, you know, I don't want to owe him anything, or I don't want to have to, like, I, I'm in, I, I've always taken So you want your cake myself. and eat it, too. You know, Damn, that's, that's pretty greedy. I years old. I can, I don't need that, but it makes me feel good that somebody wants to provide that. I, I think, I think like that, it. and it's weird. But we you know, have it to want be it. Silly, we'll but want it. That's it. I don't I'm know cool why with that. Have such an issue with I, I don't have. I don't. I don't. I don't. And I don't think most men do. Like I don't. I think some idiots out there will. Anybody that says, "Well, oh, women want equality until they get punched in the face," right. that guy's a fucking see, idiot. You know what I mean? That guy's a fucking idiot. That. You know what I mean? That's the guy that just fucking is a troll. You know, he's like an internet and life troll. So I, you I don't can't. Think there's any validity to that whatsoever. There is. I, I think are, we've I, had this conversation are, before, yeah. bro. Like I don't. I, as and if, you know some, and I know some men. Yeah. That are that it, like if that a way. woman at the end of the day, if you get upset with me and you're attacking me, will I? hit you to stop you maybe yes oh, i might give you this one. conversation i might no, I, mean, no, hey, I might i might hit you, you can't, listen even as a woman you can't i might hit you to get I'm you off of me and then i'm leaving I've that ever, situation you know, never done but it's going to be not. very different than if it's a man attacking me correct you know what i'm saying and i, I think it should see, be see I, I differentiate between size and threat no shit bro you said before you be punching chicks yeah you're right i don't care i don't care if it's a woman or a man I don't care if it's a woman or a man. If if a woman, for instance, if there's a Somebody, guy who's four foot tall, I don't feel as threatened wanna, as, like, against a woman that's like six. Women that he <laughs> yeah, I told you, Brienne of Tarth is all on. over I him. I told you <laughs> when I was when I was a, when I was a kid, I rumbled at McDonald's and this behemoth of a woman. Lisa punched Leslie me in the fucking came and grabbed your dick, bro. Bro, she she fucking punched me in the back of the head. I almost turned around and molly whopped her. I didn't. But I mean, I think I, I would have been justified if I'd not. If it was a man, if it was right a man, you would have though. Oh, no doubt. Absolutely. So, no so you realize there's doubt. a difference. Well, you said you were Thank a kid, you. Though. If well, I'm, in my teenagers. Man, you wouldn't have probably done the same thing either. In, in, I, in my teenagers. In my teenage years. <laughs> <laughs> How many teenagers were you in, bro? Yeah, right? <laughs> so, I mean, it's not necessarily if they're a woman or, or man, it's the size and the threat. Like, I don't give a fuck what you have between your legs. You know if you're what threatening I love most me, about I'm you. Gonna fuck you well, up. Well, it doesn't even matter what you have between your legs anymore. You just pick. Like, you can be whatever you want to uh, be. That's a whole other conversation. What are you saying? Um, what I guess I what I love most about you, or also what I loathe most, even I guess through Ooh. just like our social media interaction, and, right? Is that you, some of the things? And I think I've said it more than once. I'm like, how do you have a fucking daughter and you feel this way about a thing? And I, as much as it makes me hate you in this moment, I, I'm like, the worst punishment you're gonna get is coming because you're gonna eat your fucking words on half the shit you say. I promise Damn. you. Maybe. No, I know, and my daddy. He's like to some, my dad. some like, dude's oh, gonna punch boy. Lily in the face. <laughs> be like, yeah. But you no, know what? Though, that's that. the thing. Like, he's, you I'm, know, a, even with I'm that, gonna teach you know, Lily. Kavanaugh stuff. You were like, oh, and I'm like, well, so I'm like, so if it was your daughter, and people were like, yeah. no, didn't happen. Well, that's gonna happen anyway. Well, hopefully not. I hopefully hope. I agrees. hope not, bro. No, I don't think that would no, no, Jesus what I'm saying Christ. Is, no matter, what, let's say it is my daughter, not Doctor Ford. People, no matter what people stance Lily takes in life, but who's going to say, yeah, you're right, no matter what. So you're asking me right. how to deal with that. What would you do if it was your daughter? How would you deal with that? 
I'm sorry, deal with what? You're asking me how do we deal with these people who are accused if yeah. we don't know what has happened. I'm saying how would you deal with it if your daughter said something that happened? The how same exact you? way. You would wait and see? You wouldn't believe you her have... without a qu shadow of a doubt. You wouldn't just say, well, okay. That's different because it's biased it because I'm You're emotionally father. attached. Yeah. Yeah. I'm her father and I have a history with her. I don't think it's biased. I... I think it's just that's well, how no, no, humanity Well, hear me be. out for a second. I have a history with my daughter. I can tell so when she's telling. Somebody else's daughter doesn't. Oh, just let me let me finish. You're asking me a question. It, oh, I, ha shit. I have a history with her. I know when she's lying or not lying versus, let's say, a stranger. Obviously, they're going to be. I want them to be objective, yeah. right? Mm. Just you, you have to treat it that way. I can't. I can't. It's irrational to for me to demand that everybody just automatically believe her. That's, well, here's, that's not I think here's the perfect not response. You. Yes. Well, me, that's different because I'm her father and I, I, again, have, the, I have a so history. So how come people can't be personally? I feel yeah. I'm an empath. Like I do a lot of mindfulness. I do practice. I've been getting into you know mindfulness practices and Buddhism, mm -hmm. and it's just whatever you feel with her is how you should. I mean, what? That's not possible. I don't think. Let I me think let me ask you a question. That way, I can literally feel. I mean, it's. Well, let me ask you a question. I'm not going to. If if, if you a, blindly accept everybody's. Not blindly accept. I can make. You have to, right? It can't be. It can be. I think the question to ask here is if a young lady, you know, five years from now said that your, you know, your son had assaulted her, but your son said, no way, mom, like we just had sex and that was it. Who would you believe? I mean, would you automatically just assume? Let her answer, please. No, um, I would not. Ass I would like to believe him, honestly. And this is where I guess I, I'm going to. That's where I, we're biased. You know what? Don't be biased. No, I would like we to hope. Him, we but just I would say, literally, if that's, I would say, the first thing I would say to my son is probably... But you wouldn't know? I would say, you, this better not be fucking true. And I always raise right. him to be a gentleman. Don't do this. Yeah. Don't put yourself in those situations. I We don't raise men anymore. But all right, So, Mom, it's oh, not true. I, I love the fact that you just said we that. We don't. And I want my son to be a man. And that's the same thing but that that's, I'm saying. But it doesn't matter what you want. It's, do you well, think... I'm going to do my part to make sure that happens. If he goes and makes a dumb decision, then that's... That's pretty tough coming from a woman, though. Um, well, you know what? I That's how I'm going to raise a good man and the men that I'm saying that I don't right. like, that I'm talking about right now, and I don't want him to become that. So that's what's, that's what's going to happen. Right. <laughs> like no. you. Do not There's get fat like and start a podcast, problem, sir. Right? Just, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I just you're, you're, you're kind of right. amazing kid. He's no, I'm not kind. saying anything no, no, bad no, about I your son. Get that. I, she wants to put just I'm actually it. very proud of who, and I think that we have, Should be. you know, his dad and I have implemented that. Do you guys get along as far as like co-parenting and stuff like no, that? No, I don't want to get into that. Either. Oh, no, I'm not asking. You. I'm just saying, like, you <laughs> well, know, okay, as far know as teaching I him have, to be a man. I have, I have done on, my though. part. Let's move on. So I think, yeah, <laughs> I've done. Shout out to Katie's son. You're a solid yeah. little G. Cam, I so, can't do it. I like that name. Really fast, Cameron? just a just a Sorry. just a recap on uh, on Lily and that whole bias thing, and then we'll totally absolutely move on. Um, yeah, I, I, obviously I'm her father. I would be biased. I I make sure and I beat it into her. Not physically. I'm saying um, I, I'm constantly reminding her, like you know, about integrity. <laughs> I love and that you said not physically, especially to parents. Like I have to know whether my daughter's lying or not. Now, will I 100 percent know? But I don't Never. even think it's just them coming but, forward and saying it. I think it's just that they might not because of. She Fear and humiliation, and of or course, no one's going yeah, to be. absolutely. I mean, I remember, you know, my not. I'm not going to tell my dad this, and it was a totally different thing. I'm like, my dad's, my dad came kind of like, Dad, did this happen to you? Because I'll fucking kill him if that. He and might. I'm like, he might listen. And I thought it's fine. He right. right. I already say, hey, what are you saying? <laughs> hey, what up, dad? dad? Well, he's but my dad is a type. I was like, my dad's gonna fucking kill him, mm. and I'm like, I can't say because I knew it. Yeah, and he would have. Yeah. So my fear was. So why not? Bit, let him kill him. Um, well, it's a little deeper than that. You know, not something I won't touch on right now. But I'm saying right. there's different ways, there's different reasons why people don't speak up. There's one that we can fix, and it's just to make them think that they're not going to be believed, I think. And if we just... So then why say something at all, ever? Why would somebody eventually come out then? If they believe that... You say something because you don't... I, I me personally, couldn't stand to see it happen to somebody else right. that I loved. Right. Yeah, they can't well, really. I mean, I'm like, I'll, I'll take it forever, yeah. but I don't want it to happen to you. I, that's me personally. I don't know about anybody else. But like I said, every situation is different. So the fact we even try to speak of it as a whole, I think, is a little ignorant. It will just never. Yeah, it, right. it will, no situation's will just, the same. Right. Yeah, right, right, there's, yeah, there's never going to be a, a absolute uh, an absolute fix for it that everybody's happy with because there are, it's a he said she said it. I mean, and it's always going to be that. All right. This is such heavy stuff. It is heavy stuff. Yeah. yeah. But it's good. You know why? You know why it's good? Because it, it, it 
I conjures up conversation. Like talking. that were alive are like. Uh, well, we can talk about you know? unicorns that don't die and. Hey, I just start, I just started people. watching this movie today on Netflix <laughs> called The Unicorn Store. I'm about 20 minutes in, and I'm uh, surprisingly and regretfully fascinated by this movie so far. It's, it's weird, You feel bro. like you're going to be a Democrat after you I watch it? I feel like I'm going to fucking be weird and like unicorns after it. Yeah. Is. Let, me, let me ask you guys just a general question. question. That's what I'm saying. Do you think society is becoming too sensitive or... Overly no. sensitive? Absolutely. You do. I agree. I'm I think, surprised you say that. Well, I think, sensi- I think sensitive also- is is a very like a, a kind of a blanket word. I think I think it's a custom. I think that we're becoming more sensitive, but I think there's a lot of good in that because I think a lot of sensitivity comes from understanding, and I think the whole you know being overly sensitive stems from a place of. Wanting to, you know, well, be more considerate to people, which I think is good. Raised by people, I think, who are a little too harsh, and we thought we want to get somewhere in the middle of that. And some of us were like, we don't want to ever. So do now that. we're the other stream. Right, and I'm like, somewhere in the middle of that is is where we should be at. And I. That's always know, like I, that, though. That that pendulum just kind of swings you know, left like and like right, that. and we'll go back. Mm-hmm. It's never really going to be centered. I don't think so. I think this is the first time it's gone this this way. What would you do to change if you if you had like a voice well, to change society? All of society has changed, and they say it. This is why there is, you know. There's <laughs> more crime towards children these days. Moms used to be home during the day, and right. they used to watch the kids walking home. And if you know Jenny's not making it home, she's calling Sue, and Sue's calling fucking Kate. Do you believe whatever's going on? Do you believe yeah, women should so stay at home? I don't. What I'm saying was that was more available then. Right. That was happening. Right. Now you know, and let's be honest. What I think happened is not to be too much of an asshole. Is men stop being men? I already told you, I stopped yeah. being men. They stop raising men. When you, I don't know if that. Can you expound easy. on that? What do you mean? What are what are men doing today that? What I think was, if this is, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I maybe I'm not. I'm Do you get think? Uh, I, water, but what I mean, I think is maybe say the, like the dynamic of a family has changed. Maybe it's not yes, absolutely. Family I agree dynamic with you. has changed. I, I, yes, there are definitely you know. more single mothers. Everybody, there's single dads. There's single. It's we're all just. Um, Women are very quick to be like "fuck you." Men are very quick to be like "fuck you," and then the next thing you know, right. they don't so try to, to change, work though, things I out. I think is the only thing that's affecting the future is the children. So whether or not you make it. Two adults need to put their brains together and their problems aside and decide how to raise a child. I mean, instead of... I like the way you think. I like where your, your train of thought is. You know what I mean? Is. Instead yeah. of like, um, this, I, this is what I think and this is what I think. It's like sure. a united front. No matter what, you know, my mom was mad. Wait till your dad got home. I'm like, oh, shit. Right. We didn't disrespect her. We knew. And he didn't, he didn't even ask questions. He came in and that's what it was. Um, now it's... I feel like... Everyone's on the same playing field, you know. Kids are friends, and you know, men don't have respect for their wives. Wives don't have. I don't know. Yeah, I, I have a problem with that. I feel like that's a super vague statement. Like, I, to, I, you're right, and I want to, to say men don't have respect like, for their wives. I mean, like, I have virtually a wife at home, and to say that is like, who the fuck are you? You know, saying no, that we don't have respect I mean. for our what wives. What I mean is that I, don't know. I think there are just so many more people now in the world. Like the population is, no, there's almost happened? 7 billion it's, it's people in the world. I'm not saying that women should stay at home. I think that's why I veered off of that because you made it so, you know, blatant. But but are you are that, you afraid to say that? Is that really how you feel? Because it sounds like that's how you feel. No. I'll okay. Say it. What I was saying is the dynamic has changed. That's what it was and is not that any longer. So people but, are still trying but to you're, have the you gotta same correlate that to values when actual life is not the same. It doesn't. I, 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 maybe I maybe because you. but yeah I'm, and I don't even know if women should stay home because to me either a woman can stay home or a man can stay home right but now, I think a I'm team of a man and a woman was, is the I ideal situation to raise I think a kid. Any way to change it, no matter what it is, people need to just uh, raise children. Children need discipline. People need to band together. They need to. Uh, children are children, and they need to be parented and. People so, should do that. And they should what, work on it together, whether or not they're together. And sometimes I think you gotta just whoop that kid's ass. Like, you got a piece, well, like a whole generation of like little fucking brats, and I can't stand it. I'm not even. Me, I'm talking like 18 year olds, 19 year olds, kid. other kids, olds. other my people's kids. My son's 11, and I we do a good job. You gotta whoop his ass sometimes, or no? I'm saying there's a generation like I have. It. it yeah, they're little fucking assholes. Yeah. There are people yeah. that let's put my son is like doesn't want to go to school with those kids that are older. Let's put it that way. There's like a missing. When you know little fucking assholes, what do you mean? Like, well, hold on. I, I hate when people stereotype an entire like generation of people. Well, to it's, me, that's it's a majority it's, it's like thing. A, it's just your experience it's not, well, in life. Well, my it, it's a silly told me thing a story to do. Today, she was out at a restaurant eating, and there was kids in there, you know, uh, early twenties, you know, but she said maybe between twenty twenty three. Right. I can already tell where this is going. And they're swearing, having a good time. It's just her and her man. They're like, whatever. And then you know, a dad and his son walks in, and 
these kids that keep going. And she said, her man's like, I want to, I'm going to say son. She's like, mind your business. So the dad, she said, finally turns around. I was like, hey, you know, no disrespect, but I'm trying to have dinner with my son. You can't hear anything. You can't hear each other over you. You keep cussing. Mm -hmm. And these kids are like, fuck you, fucking blah, you know, trying to like fight this man now. So she said, that's when they got up and they're like, hey, we've been listening to you guys the whole time too. What, whatever it is. I don't even know if it's a generational thing. It's Maybe not. It's just a piece of shit. All those, over. those people are assholes. That's all that is. It has but nothing to do with the generation. I don't know. I'm willing to bet that my son wouldn't be in a restaurant doing that. No, but there's, well, there I probably are kids your son's age that would do that in Correct. 10 so years. I think it's parenting. Uh, agreed. I don't think it has anything to do with a uh, generation, you, you know? Most of those kids in their background well, you, you can't probably discredit not somebody's experience with younger generations. That's just... Looks like so when I say something I don't like, I want to be here like, well, these kids. I'm not. Well, no, what, I, I, what I'm, I'm saying, saying it's a natural human what I'm thing saying, you know, for, to just place gener blame on younger somebody. generations parents, like, are assholes. I'm speaking from just solely my experience with younger generations. That's what I. That's what I see. I'm not saying every single kid. I'm just right. saying for the most, the majority of my experience has been. I'm you know, not even mad at fucking the kids. Young, when my son comes home and he's well, like, they I lack have respect an issue. I'm like, well, what's his last name? Because I probably went to school with his parents and. It's just, it's frustrating to me that, is, you know, I know I'm going to send my son, my son to school and he's going to be respectful of you and your child and your, your child is not going to be afraid mm -hmm. of mine and they're going to Hey, I was a fucking asshole when I was a kid. If I have to do that, then you have to do the same thing. You don't get to be a piece of shit and make, I remember my son playing baseball at like five and there was parents in the, in the crowd like, yeah, fucking Johnny or whatever, kick, kick his fucking ass, fuck that. I'm like, these kids are five. And it's baseball. Like it's not even a violent sport. I would understand that if it was like football. And you could actually hit the kid, but it's like baseball. How are you gonna kick somebody's ass if in baseball? We all have to raise productive members of society. Then we all have to to do that. I'm just sick of people who don't do that, and then their children. Well, there's like, there's another there's another variable to this equation that a lot of people don't really bring up a lot of the time when we're talking about this subject, and that's the parent teacher relationship that has also deteriorated. But that's also going with what I'm saying. I don't have those kind of views like where it they, used to be if if your teacher said correct. something to the parent you know the teacher was automatically right and you're getting your ass kicked because the teacher said that you were bad during yeah. today it's right. bad parents parenting. are protective of their child versus the teacher mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now I'm, yeah. I, I'm a parent and i have a kid in school and i Do i try to be with the teacher no fuck no, no bro because i, I couldn't i shouldn't man i see right. videos of teachers beating the shit out of kids i should never side with them but is that the you, majority is that is that i don't know but you, you shouldn't just automatically side with either one. What I do is, I don't, so your kid is eleven, your son, um, Lily is ten, nine. nine. So do either of your kids have nine something called? Happy birthday, Lily! Hey, Happy birthday, Lily. oh Happy shit! Birthday, oh, do you um do either of them use dojo points at their school? Yeah, we have dojo. All right, so the fuck is dojo points? Send her to a better school, bro. No, I'm just kidding. So it's just um, an online app. Yeah, it, it's just a way to like see what they're doing day to day. The teachers can communicate with you, and they get like good marks. They get good marks for participating, I complimenting. Tell you, a lot of teachers don't do that. My teacher is very active with uh, it, and, and I love it. Parents and I maybe one of them. Yeah. So. Uh, Every single day, like I'm, um, I can show you. Communicates dude. on that. On Every that side. single day, I check Stephen. It's called Class Dojo. Right. I do the same. Thing. Um, I'll come over, kids. Boom, and then I click his report, and you it has have like. That. Where did you go? So, <laughs> it's um, you know, Class Dojo is what it's called. So like, they just get positive marks or negative marks. That's you know from saying? the teacher. That's from the Correct. teacher. Yes. So, right. So but it like can for be from all of their teachers. Right from like from saying, every my son teacher. Has art, music, Mandarin. The only one that I get is from his actual teacher. Your son takes Mandarin? It's required Fucking in Rhode Island. Fucking baller. He's in second grade because, the, you know, because I asked why they're taking Mandarin. What? My son's in third grade. He doesn't take Mandarin. Ma Where does he go to school? Johnston. My daughter has a problem with English. Seriously. <laughs> my son <laughs> yeah. can't articulate. Sure he's going to take it next year then. You sure he's not taking it? I would know if my son was fucking studying uh, Chinese, right, lady. Right. Like, well, I asked. Ni hao, my dad. I'm like, nah. You know, his, uh, his third and fourth grade conference. I said, what is this? You know, we took, she said, honestly, um, we just, that most of these kids' jobs are going to be outsourced and they're going to need to learn to speak Mandarin. That is the literal answer well, I got from well, the school. Yeah, so that makes I, sense. The reason I have yeah, well, a problem like with. at the time. I'm like, so you already foresee the future that clearly, but. Yeah, I think that's it. really good. Like people, I think our generation is probably a little more fucked because it's, 
not fucked, but I think it should be re- not required, but like learning another language is so I don't valuable. Know why it's not a requirement. Everybody learns yeah. sign language. That bothers me. Eh, I, mean, I, I think I, I think Spanish is a little more relevant than sign well, language. We already do that, but I think just generally they're doing Mandarin. Why aren't they doing sign language? I more know, people speak Japanese Mandarin. Go to school, yeah, no but more people speak Mandarin than sign language. You are, there are, you know, it's just well, but I think it's just a, a, a minority population. Yeah, two minority too. Like if that's the I case, you'd have to learn every language. Spanish just because they're minority. It's worldwide. Yeah, but how many people are how many people are deaf in the world versus how many people speak Mandarin? I bet you Mandarin is way more. Because the whole country full of Mandarin. But people you can pick also, any country. Well, country. Chinese that's is the number one language spoken actually. on the globe. Yeah, deaf people in every. But that's what I'm. That the point I'm trying to make is you can communicate with more people if you learn a language than if you learn sign language. I understand that. And I'm not trying to be but like insensitive. I'm, I'm not like uh, I'm bad. not a deafophobe or anything. But I'm just a deafophobe. Five percent of the world. Five percent of the world is deaf. Maybe I'm wrong then. How many? Well, I'm what's the percent? I'm talking about every country. Okay, but what's, what's the percentage of the world that speaks Chinese? But it would be mostly in Asia. This is a worldwide. It's what I'm I just asked him, but I said the percentage of the There's world. There's more people that speak Mandarin. That's what I'm Chinese. thinking. Yeah. I mean, it has to be like a billion. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So I think it's like, it's the I think it's more beneficial for humanity if you speak another language than sign language. That's all I'm saying. You'll communicate with more people. I understand that. I think Everybody that's a tangible number thing. Language. But back to what we were saying about this. They should also learn sign language on top. Sure, if they want. Yeah. I'm not in Mandarin. Sorry, we'll just go. I got into How do you Uber. say thank you? How do you say thank you? Thank you. I, I think it's maybe that. That's so you still taking Ubers language. after that chick got murdered? No, listen to this. No. You don't take Ubers anymore, bro. We don't take Ubers. Ubers legit. Hold on, I don't want to leave from this the your point about teachers and should we normally say, believe them? I was very proud. I got to an Uber and we had an Asian driver and Cameron was talking to her and I guess it was she was like no he's. Was the driver wearing a symbol hat? She's a really cute girl. I think he was flirting with her, but wooden slippers. Your son's already flirting with oh, the eleven. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, does he uh, lock did his she, doors yet or no? Did the driver have? Is it weird that that's going to happen soon? I had that conversation with Sasha the other day. I'm like, babe, one lady. Yo, so my son is nine, and I'm looking at Sasha, and I'm just like, you realize like, soon we're gonna have to knock on this kid's door. Like, we're about, about to get into that stage where he's jerking off seven times a day. Yeah, he's too far. Into All right, can we like not talk <laughs> like, about kids jerking wanna... off? Like, well, how I mean, we, when you spin it that way, you're weird as fuck. I guess off. it's different. You don't have a son. If you had a son, you'd understand. But like, it's gonna happen. You. Those daughters gonna. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Like, dude, she's like Netflix, Zach Efron, oh, whatever. Fuck, man. <laughs> um, but back to what you're saying. Like, no, I don't think you should believe the teachers immediately because for example sometimes steven comes home with these dojo points because you remember like where we began and i'm just like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so <laughs> those dojo no things they tell you if he does good things and every now and then it'll just say a negative remark yeah. and naturally i'm like finally i get to whip his ass let's go <laughs> so then but he it just never it's oh bro i trust me i've no, i've definitely school, i've gotten right, physical with them no no no. i've I, yo I've, I've given them the smackdown a few times if they need it they need it um i've never but he's got, you know, like he's gotten a remark before that says disrespectful. Now, if you, if your kid's teacher says your son was disrespectful in class today, how do you handle that? That's all the information you have. Do you immediately no. believe her, or do you immediately? Well, immedi- you, that, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, I don't want to get into like, that. You, I'm just saying if that's, that's all exactly the information. You you no, but that. if that's the information you had, because Jay said earlier, do you immediately believe the teacher or your kid? Right, like but if we're you're talking about this app. Just hear me out. If you if all the information you had was hey your son was being disrespectful, and I don't immediately believe anybody. So what do you do in that situation? Well, I try to find out the truth. And that's dude, that's a problem. Is you, like it can't that's go problem. back to back in the day. No, that's what I'm saying because like back in the day in school you said if the teacher says you were acting up, there was okay. I believe the teacher. I'm whooping my son's ass. It's not I like generally how, speaking, yes, just how well which you is know a problem. Child, like you were saying previously. Yeah. I just feel like what I do I've is never had any issue. And um, you know what this bitch said though. When I'm like, hey, you said my son was being disrespectful before I discipline him. Like, can you tell me what happened? I want to make sure, like, I handled this correctly. She goes, all right, I'll, let me check with the art teacher. So I'm like, wait a second. So you didn't, you're telling me he was disrespectful. You didn't even, you weren't there. So she goes, okay, I just talked to the art teacher. Apparently, you know, during this drill, somebody dropped some pencils on the floor and your son was one of the ones laughing about it. I'm like, listen, lady, you need to use a better word than, than disrespectful because to me, like, you, disrespectful seems like a really terrible thing that he would be doing in school not laughing at some fucking spilled pencils well i mean what i'm well, imagining the is that, that somebody pencils, yeah there was a child who was doing an exercise and made a mistake no 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 it was yeah. his best friend that spilled the pencils oh. 
You know what I mean? Oh. Like they were laughing, like, "Oh shit, we're supposed to be quiet, and you spilled pencils." Not like, I don't know. "Hey, dumbass, just, you spilled honestly, pencils." I'm like, you have my son eight hours a day, so if you say he's disrespectful, I'm like, "What the fuck did you do?" Yeah, see, we'll I think that's. It. I don't want my son to I'm ever feel like, like I'm working against him. No, it's fine, and he knows I'm not because I've shown him that his yeah. whole life. Yeah. But you also aren't going to school and act like a punk. Sorry. No, nah, but I, I I do think that you know like don't go to school and act like a punk, but realize that like the, these people that are yeah, telling you your kid is one way or another are they're just people humans. Who are, people people you're fuck up. Them with for eight hours a day. Mm. Who have, I mean. Yeah, but I can't I can't just blindly take my their son, word for so it. So if, if if he's gone until you know, fifth grade and I don't get a call that he's being disrespectful and then I do, probably something's going on. Yeah, but disrespectful is such and a then they tough get word. And they push, no, I mean, he pushed limits this year. He was in music uh, art class, and he was sitting with somebody. Or we had already moved his seat. For, I, I mean, he was just sitting with other children, and they were being loud, and she said, you guys need to move your seats. And then one of the children was said, don't move. And so he didn't move. Oh, shit. And I said, shit. I can't think of anything fucking worse than you being a follower, kid. And I've always told yeah, you that. Yeah, yeah, that's an ass whooping. She was going to call the principal, and then I moved. I moved. No, nah, no. Nah, only I'd... after you were threatened, after she asked you twice. I would have whipped my son's ass for that. When I say whip his ass, I don't mean, like, Unfortunately, when brutally. you can't, you know, See, co-parent, I... like I said, properly and actually get on the same front. <sighs> yeah. yeah. I found Children myself very recently like telling oh. Lily, telling my daughter, like, there's a difference. Obviously, there's a difference between, you know, when you're poking fun. That's all fine and dandy. You don't want to hurt somebody's and you feelings. And what also stinks is that my son, I know how it is to be on the other side of that. He must have been terrified. He must have been like, I need to move. I need to move. But these guys are like, there's these cool guys and they're saying don't move. And you don't feel like you're making an excuse for him by saying that? Um, no, I don't because I understand as a child that's very, I've had that happen. You want to make friends and kids are mean. And uh, I get that him wanting yeah, to do But you that. said something and earlier that was really good. Like, don't be a follower. He did. He hesitated. But when she said, call on the prince, well, he did get up and move. The other children, he, there's still some morals in there that I want to, you know, but. Yeah. It's unfortunate. They're, you know, you, the kids are going to pull them your, in different ways. Right? You, almost, you, you want your kid to be the one that says, different. you want your kid to be the one that says, Correct. no, guys, we have to move. Let's yes, go. Yes, I do. Yeah. Maybe I don't. Maybe not. Maybe I want to just. All right, we're definitely beating this dead horse. Yeah, let's. Um. Let's <laughs> Why don't, we, why don't we wrap this up? We've With talked. It. How long have we been going? Roughly about an hour and a half. Who cares how long hours? it's dead? Oh, this hours? conversation sucks. <laughs> our kids, our kids are all fucking off Everything's in school. Like fuck the kids. Fun no, fuck the dojo. <laughs> fuck the teachers. <laughs> fuck no, you, teachers. Love fuck love the you. kids. I'm done with all of them. <laughs> Yo, Andy, my thank son. You for coming out. The most excited my son okay. ever gets is when he has <laughs> fucking <laughs> string cheese. He brings me a string cheese, and if I tell him I'm gonna open, he goes nuts. But anyways, moving on. Yeah. Um, Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming fun. out. We appreciate you. you know, You're a good <laughs> fit. You're a good fit. You're a good fit. All right. Later, guys. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Just want to say thanks again one more time to our sponsors. Uh, first and foremost, we got Donkey Dodgers Poker. Check them out on Facebook. They're somewhere else every single night. Hey, can you guys uh, can you guys zip it? I'm doing uh, outro ads. Thanks. Uh, also, <laughs> Division Street Auto in Pawtucket, 595 Division Street. Check them out. 10% labor discount. Onlyville Tires in Providence. Go see Dory. She'll take care of you. We got J&W Constructions. Whether you need a new fucking countertop installed or a new tile ceiling, who knows? Hit them up. Who am I forgetting? I got four. DDP. Bing, bang, boom. Got DDP. Got them. Tops. Tops Electric Showroom. Uh, anything you need for electrical equipment, whether it's wire, whether it's uh, connectors, and lighting, LED, fluorescent, hook them up. Tops in Providence. Thanks for listening, guys. Peace.